actually looks cleaner than normal. Oh. Uh, I, I was given free rain. <laughs> well, I like the setup here. Like we don't have to squeeze into the corner. Is that nice? What's here? Uh, a couch. Oh. Which uh, the, the actual area of the building is going to go, but there's a lot of space here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, what do we have in store for the day? Uh, well, well, first we have match play tournaments, so and we have a full script. Just trying to find uh, the uh, Ben said, whoa, this is fancy. Ben, my name is Jordan. I don't think that we've met. Have we? Uh, Jordan, Jordan Semro. You're from Seattle. Yes. Last time I played here. Oh, okay. I remember you were at Tom's or Yeah. That was actually. I don't know if we played or not. I've met a lot of people since I've moved here to Wisconsin. So. Yeah, this is great. 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 So, uh, and then the other, the, the things that I want to So, uh, yeah, anyway, as, um, I, as I was saying, you know, uh, just make sure match play the have the 14 rounds of match. Yes, yeah, so we have 14 rounds of match play, that's going to take around. And, and uh, but then with the second tournament, uh, yeah, since it's four strike, uh, you know, you get tired or whatever, and then you get two four strikes, uh, you know, five, six rounds in, something like that. And you have to stay there the rest of the time, so, uh, uh, it's a good setup, you know, you're not know, forcing three, people to stay until the end of the tournament for the second, the second tournament. So, yeah, uh, this should be fun. It's going to be a lot of pinball. It's going to be a lot of points. Why wouldn't you? I mean, don't get me wrong. I totally get that, but I mean... Okay. So let's put it this way. So when you run, when you run your, your tournaments at your house, your, your big ones in the spring and the fall, you want this to get done a bit more, right? You hit a point where you're like, man, I'm just tired. Yeah, of you know? course. And, and of course, that's happening in your house, so you know that. Yeah, and you know, you know, and stuff like that, and like, you have to be there the entire time, you know? Uh, you're you're, you're doing terms directly, so uh, it might be a little bit different for the player, though. Yeah. 
Hey, Ariel. It's a cool place, though. I mean, you know, even if you are out of the tournament, you know, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, first uh, all the games here on free play. So, you know, even if you get out early, there's still got a lot of pinball that you can play. Uh, for so once you're not out of the tournament, uh, it's not well, I mean, no, no, no additional cost to you, you know, after getting into the tournament. Right. There's no coin drop. Um, exactly. You just fail okay. flat. Food. Right. Yeah, we, we got, uh, as uh, Tom's saying, uh, or as uh, Eric's saying behind us, we have lots of food here, which is super cool. Uh, so we'll have, I guess, lunch and dinner uh, taken care of for us, which is great. I mean, for a $35 entry, two, two tournaments and food, like, <laughs> you know, hand, hand free pinball. <laughs> So, uh, definitely exciting. Oh, yeah. Definitely right. exciting. And then, uh, Tom, so Tom you're asking me straight. What is it, um, what is it that you don't want to play today? Uh, and that's on the back like, screen. What, what shows, what games do you just do? Like, truck stop. Um, truck stop. 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 So if you have an account Are you getting a strategy back? Because yeah. it's, it's all pick for us. So. <laughs> oh. That, wait, what? Uh, okay, yeah. and uh, the next turn here is actually going to be a We're playing. We play. You got you to multitask. Yeah. You, you can come over and announce that. A couple of them. Um, yes. And then, uh, a couple of us are doing it. Does anybody else have anything you want? <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I'm just going to post it on my page. Yeah. yeah so when you beat us, you know, it's... There's um, video proof. There's video yes, proof. Yeah. And, no, not my page. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, let me know if you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really appreciate it. I'm Thanks, having fun. Thanks, Ben. Really like you and Luke, too. And, uh... It seems like, yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll jump for you guys that regularly come, you know, for like every month or something, I'm uh, sure you can see that I'll definitely get busy slightly yeah. every time, just try to keep that making it. I know, I help Eric make decisions. Better 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 when you blow up four billion on awesome. Digital Magic. You know, I am looking at expanding <laughs> over, this is two units, I'm looking at getting the next one over, because... So, our, our fearless leader uh, at uh, uh, Final Town uh, Owner is making announcements right uh, now and getting getting things situated, so... Hey, we wish you could be yeah. here, too. That's the screen for you. Well, just so I can get things set up. Um, all right. I think that's it. Does anybody got any, like, questions? Oh, so certain games are really awesome. How do I do that? Windows P. As soon as I have to fix the games, there's something up there. And then change that to extend. It works great for, like, 90 minutes. Oh, okay. And then just right click on your... So we're just going to click full screen for you and click projector two. And just turn it on, it'll work fine. It works great just for like 90 minutes. minutes. And then it's kind of... I'm going to have you do it. So let's, like, <laughs> let's just leave it off. Well, after you're done with it, right before it's time to turn it off. You screw it up, you screw it up first. Projector down. preview. Don't worry. Display. Oh, perfect. I think it's this one. Yeah. Uh, so all right. It's just feature preview. You can do it every one. Uh, so all this thing. See, that's why it's good to have other streamers here telling you what to do. Yeah. Um, uh, this is, this is fantastic. So, uh, we, get to, we get to watch ourselves life size or, or bigger. Uh, so yeah, it's really top 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 top. Top. But the, the nice thing is we can actually look up and, and we don't have to look up my oldest. Right, exactly. We're, we're not crowded in together. That's it. You're done. I think I see a ball there. And uh, there's still a ball player on. It's a ball, it's a ball, it's a ball, it's a ball. It's a ball. So as Eric's going over rules and such, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be moving cameras and things, and uh, we're gonna give you some, a lot of pinball action. So I hope you enjoy. So, uh, yeah, uh, so, so you say truck stop. Uh, get going back to our previous conversation. Yes. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's because I don't pull it off. So there's just a bunch of stuff that's not an extra ball. That's always a good thing. But uh, actually making the progress is getting the ball, ball, where you're letting your jackpot get in and actually hitting your jackpot is doing it. So, uh, so that's once ball, you do that and you have to hit all four of them, so it's the same as that. And it's worth a lot, but, you know, I've never seen a truck stop where if you hit that clean that you're hearing, you can actually make the right. There is slight turns on it. And so that's, that's, that's a ball ball. That's a, um, it's going to that's the ball. ball. It's not my favorite. But I couldn't turn it off completely. 
So yeah. for some reason, you get to like a 10x bonus, it'll give you an extra ball. Yeah. On that situation, so what's your favorite? Favorite me because they Bride of Pinbot? Bride of Pinbot is the bane of my pinball uh, existence. Yeah. I thought you Derek trapped it out this year. Oh, well, Derek. Uh, it's actually, it doesn't have dead rubber. Yeah, the two EMs. Oh, you can bounce back. Are five ball games, not three ball games? We'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, it's actually the best game of the year. Yeah, it's the best game of the year. It's the best game of the year. Maybe I should get a practice game before that gets called for me because it was a good one. First of all, I mean, there's four teams. You know, we're going to be playing a lot of games. Other than that, you don't have to write a score down on the sheets. Even I even on night who plays second or fourth, it's uh, it's never like, second place, 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 second what so, game yeah, I, I would have to say probably four two people. games that I was So when it pops up, I'm going to uh, uh, meet the call the out the first person uh, on the list uh, those are along with the game. And oh, then that person I, comes so up, I have grab a sheet usually uh, from Andy. Uh, that is 100% uh, working. I have not sheets. played a single game. And, uh, and then you fill out the key to the back box. So I gotta, I gotta find that or drill it out or something like that to, to get that actual uh, and, uh, But uh, man, I love that. Uh, that uh, I think that's it. So it was really fun. Yeah, let's play some pinball. We're going to be here a long time. Let's play. Yeah. Not so much that it's going to be Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so in between rounds, uh, after, you know, there's going to be like 18 rounds, 18 rounds of people or something. And, uh, um, and when you're done with it, you know, someone's filled with, out the sheet, bring it up here, sticks it in the coin box, okay? One shot um, there. And then you can play it in, you know, whatever you want in between. And if you can just keep nailing the rear on it. Uh, and then I hit the buzzer when all the sheets are in the picture. When your I hit the buzzer, please stop playing your game. And then come off and get the next round. We're going to... It's a long day, you know, know the, last, the last the last tournament for like the last uh, four players and, uh, are probably going to be here. I found out that uh, I'm a little bit better at Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I saw that. Realistically, yeah. 5.6 billion. Realistically, yeah. Realistically, uh, yeah. Realistically, yeah. Uh, my, uh, I assume you got to the wizard mode? I, I got to the wizard mode. Oh. So um, I have not. But, uh, I have not done but you don't have to stick around. You know what I'm saying? So, so but, but, I was in the middle of the three rounds. And then I got to inflation initiative. And that by itself was about 3.7 billion. So that was my first time ever getting there. Did I see Granger walk in? Yes. Okay. So. I, was, I was trying to put Granger's name. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting bored already, Tom? That makes 71 people. I want to play some Vim <laughs> Um Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and as, as a quick side note, uh, for the, the people who are watching, uh, if you are in the Sorry, one last game. I am actually. I have an A group and an B group for the pinball uh, machines. Uh, I have A group and there's 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 one of the islands of, of public pinball in the Fox Cities area. And you know, we want to show them support uh, by letting them know that competitive pinball is a real thing. So uh, if you can't make it, 27th at 7 o'clock, player 2 arcade. Cool. Okay. No, he's got a hanging That's all right. We're here to talk about it. for games here. I'm going to probably run. I'm going to go. Hey, Tom, can you go for a second, please? Okay. Uh, yeah, we will, uh, we will leave you here for a moment as we uh, get set up for round one. It should be back. Uh, I'll be here in just a couple of minutes.
this is Streaming. Do you have any microphones or just the headsets? We're not just sure the headsets. Not, if someone did not grab a sheet, there's one sitting on a computer up here in the desk if you need it. Otherwise, uh, as soon as you get the group together, you guys can get started.
or did I get quieter?
Sometimes helps. Yeah. I'm gonna pop out of the movie. Tom, you're gonna join me. need another chair in here. Alright, just gotta get. Pivotal round two. Try to stick with the top groups. That is Kurt Eastman. I'm gonna get this chain up here. I'm just getting the players put in here. Still no sound through the commentator's mics. Alright, so I'm going to stop listening to people and I'm just going to crank this up. Can you hear us now? <laughs> Let me say this, if you're in chat, right, or if you're in this, watching the stream right now, post that you can hear us. If you can't hear us talking, then I know you can't hear us. <laughs> yeah, please put in the chat, we can hear you. Because, uh... 
it's a little better now. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, unfortunately, uh, a lot of, a lot of stuff's yeah, going to go, but... All I can say is I'm trying.
Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see if that helps the sound at all. Um, hey, Ryan, do, oh, can I, you hear me? I see that our lows are actually getting way lower. So, uh, if we don't talk, you'll see that the uh, that the levels are way down there. I'm wondering if it was trying to pick up through uh, the onboard microphone for some reason. I might have just turned it off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, please uh, please let us know if you can hear us now. Uh, so we have Kel McBrayer up here uh, going for ball three. Uh, none of us have put up a particularly All right, fantastic sound, scores. sound is back. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, so, yeah, none of us have put up uh, particularly good ball threes here, or, or uh, balls uh, in our first and, and second ball. Uh, I'm banking on the fact that I still have my, uh, my multi-ball lit, uh, which hopefully will get me some points there. I've tried to go for a couple of modes, and it just hasn't worked out. I haven't been able to get control. Lots of back and forth with the... Uh, uh, lots of back and forth with the, uh, the the slings that have just led to led to quick out lane drains. All right, so uh, starting electrified Woo. fence here. We got cheered because people can hear us. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am up. Oh, that was oh wow, that was a that was a good recovery there from Cal. Uh, looks like that was going right down the middle, but uh, he was able to juggle it out of there. All right, and he's right back into uh, the A shot there, which uh, starts Mosquito. Uh, so he has to shoot the edge, which is the captive ball right up in the center. Uh, so it's the white flashing shot, uh, white flashing circular shot right up in the middle. Uh, so if he does that, then he'll get 10 million points. And uh, he can do that over and over, get more and more points. So uh, this ball three seems to be going better than uh, his first couple of balls uh, as he is able to uh, uh, at least get some progress on some of this mode. So there is there's a 10 million point shot, uh, and that uh, that I believe was for uh, his escape. And then he also started the uh, uh, Velociraptor two ball multi ball. So for this, he just wants to shoot that Raptor shot, uh, which is right in between the egg and the right ramp. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to hit, um, and uh, there there was a drain there. All right. After value held, uh, nice little orbit there, or, uh, uh, mini orbit off of that upper right flipper. And uh, now he's at feed T-Rex, so he wants to hit that T-Rex shot. Uh, and uh, that is uh, most effectively gotten by uh, using that upper right flipper. Uh, so if you can, if you can, uh, so he's still got his egg going here. So he's getting five million per hit to that egg while that's still running. There's ten million. And uh, now he's got uh, his, his T-Rex multi-ball ready. Uh, got another shot to the mode starts, and uh, because of that, uh, it was a nice feed. Uh, that got him down there, so uh, his escape is lit at the boat. Uh, I think that he's probably more concerned with his multi-ball at the moment. Uh, that can be very valuable, much more valuable than uh, the modes. Uh, so it looks like he's going directly for the T-Rex. Uh, from that right flipper. Oh, and this is what he wants. Uh, wasn't able to cash in on it. So uh, probably your your best way to, to get to that T-Rex is uh, hitting it up that uh, that right semi-orbit escape shot uh, to the boat, and then that will feed it to that upper right flipper, uh, which can get a really nice shot up to the T-Rex. Uh, that's something that I missed on my last ball, and hopefully I can cash in on, on this ball. This is what he wants, and oh, fails to cash in on it again. Oh, and there is a center drain. That being said, uh, good, good uh, last ball there, and we'll see what I can do. I'll be right back. So hopefully the audio is much better. Apologize about that before. If it was not, uh, we're gonna try to keep things the same. If if it's coming through good. I wow. Don't know. Well, that that uh, ball three did not go well for me. That solidified a fourth place for me. Uh, I just had two house balls in a row. 
uh, and I have my multi-ball lit. Couldn't uh, couldn't get it on a flipper to actually uh, do anything with it. So I have uh, 33 million going on uh, circus on ball going into ball three, so well, I'm feeling pretty good. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you go ahead and you you just <laughs> brag about yourself <laughs> while I'm sitting here watching my my fourth place score again. Sorry, you know, sorry. Just eaten up. Sorry about that. That's better. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you telling us, too. Yes, I, we really appreciate it. It's just hard to know, you know, because we're not hearing anything besides what's in our mics. Right. We, we hear we hear what's coming through the headsets, which is what's coming through our mics, and we can hear each other just fine. And I'm still totally a rookie at this, so. <laughs> uh, so, all right. So, Aiden uh, ended up there with $71 million, uh, so Jeff is just a mere $10 million away from securing a second place. And uh, after that, he's got uh, about another $70 million to go uh, to catch first place, $75 million. So uh, we'll see what he can do. Uh, he's still got a long way to go before he would uh, light his multi-ball again. Uh, so if he's got a long enough ball and can uh, cash that in, then that would be great. But uh, he's probably not counting on it at this point. Uh, oh, and there's a the drag. Well, that, that puts him in second place, so that's that's uh, good for Jeff. Uh, so then that, that puts us uh, Kel in first place, Jeff Batzer in second, Aiden Lighty in third place, and myself in fourth. <laughs> Sorry about the fan in the middle of the play field, too. Yeah. <laughs> It, it's it's centered almost perfectly on the uh, on the light there, so it it almost looks like we're getting some some uh, some uh, cool like lighting effects coming from there. But no, it's just a fan above it. Uh, fans in here are absolutely necessary, as there are a lot of games and a lot of people, uh, which adds up to a very hot environment if we don't uh, keep some air circulating. All right, uh, so with that, uh, we will be back shortly um, after this break.
We are back live from Titletown Pinball in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, we are taking a look at. Uh, uh, we'll take a look here at the uh, the current <laughs> the current standings uh, as uh, as we have right now. We got two games going on right now. We got uh, uh, Simpsons Pinball Party and uh, Circus Voltaire. Yeah, so there are still two games uh, two games to go here in this round, but uh, the standings uh, looks like for uh, a lot of the uh, players up top here uh, seem to seem to be kind of in. So we can take a look at those. Um, so uh, here we have uh, in first place so far. We have Eric Thorne with a perfect perfect uh, three rounds so far, isn't twenty-one that, points. Isn't that kind of cheating? Because yeah, so. he does own these all. Most of these machines. Yeah, you know, he should be disqualified from playing in his own tournament. He should provide fun for everybody else, but uh, uh, but not for himself. <laughs> he, he should be here strictly for uh, uh, for tournament directing purposes. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, he's uh, he's got a phenomenal game or a phenomenal day going so far. Uh, we're only three rounds into 14 rounds of match play, uh, so we still have a lot of pinball to go, uh, a lot of potential movement here. 
Uh, some some uh, players that we see st still at the top at 19 points. We have Andrew Caston, Christopher Hay Hare. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Not Ryan sure. Spindler and Tim Bodway. Uh, Ryan made his, his way up here from uh, from Madison, uh, so it's cool. Yes. It's cool to see uh, to see that we got some uh, some people from out of town uh, coming for this huge day of pinball. And Luke Nuhorniak is the uh, Minnesota State Champion. And uh, yeah, if uh, if you have not checked out his stream, uh, uh, what what is his uh, Twitch handle? Do you know? Uh, Minnesota Dash Pinball. Yeah, so so check out his stream. He does some really great stuff. Uh, he's he's been doing this uh, longer than Fox City's Pinball. Uh, he's got a, a great setup and uh, he does some great commentary on, yep. on what he's playing. So. Luke's taught me a lot. Yeah. So uh, kudos to Luke and thank thank him for uh, or we thank him for coming to join us here for for this pinball. We have Eric Strangeway. Uh, ben Granger and myself at uh, at 15 points. Uh, Brian Leitner uh, still still doing well, also at 15 points. Uh, I was I was talking earlier about how he uh, he is an interesting player. Uh, he he has he has days where he is absolutely on top of his game, and he has other days where uh, you know he's just not feeling it. But uh, he, he seems to be doing well so far. Um, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get ready to switch cameras because I'm pretty sure Circus is gonna be finishing up pretty soon. All so. right, so uh, yeah, we should be we should be coming to the end of this uh, pretty quickly here. Um, right, looks like we have uh, 17 of the 18 games here. Uh, still just waiting on Circus Voltaire uh, to to complete before we can actually call this round to a close. Uh, so yeah, Let's see what we have going on here. All right, so uh, you, you can see you can see right behind me we have uh, uh, we have Ryan Spindler uh, playing a playing a practice game here on uh, the getaway. Uh, let's see. So uh, yeah, as as, uh, as mentioned, uh, we are at Tuttletown Pinball. Uh, this is an IFPA. Uh, there we go, an IFPA tournament uh, that we have going here. Uh, so it was kind of cool. Uh, Eric Thorin actually got in touch with IFPA, asked if uh, they would uh, provide a banner, and uh, they said that they didn't have anything left over, but they did give him the rights to uh, use that image and everything to create his own banner. So he's got that hung up. Uh, he's got another one around here uh, with his Tuttletown Pinball logo. Uh, and as you can see, this is just such a cool setup. So he's got 52 games uh, spread around this, uh, this location. Uh, all of them are in fantastic working order. Uh, they play very, very well. Uh, and then above on uh, both of the long walls here, we see all of these uh, all of these uh, play fields that uh, he's got that are honestly in very good condition, but he's just got them up as uh, displays at the moment. Uh, looks very cool. And then above there, we can see, there we go. Uh, I, I always wonder how weathermen do this, but uh, but yeah, uh, as, as we go up along this wall here, uh, we see all of the uh, back glasses that he has on display up there. Uh, with cool, uh, uh, he's got backlights in all of them, so they're all nice and lit up. Uh, everywhere that you go, there's uh, just really cool atmosphere and cool environment going on uh, that, that just kind of bring this entire place together. Uh, so it looks like uh, we're still waiting on Circus Voltaire. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Uh, big thanks, big big thanks to uh, Joe and Susan Stead, uh, who are uh, rookie players here. They they. Uh, only started playing pinball when uh, Tuttletown opened up last June, and uh, with that, uh, we got uh, uh, they, they've just become such a such a, a staple here in the Tuttletown pinball community. Uh, they they are providing food and they are working on that right now. Uh, so we have lunch and dinner provided for us, which is awesome, uh, considering you know it's only thirty five dollars to play in two tournaments, and we get uh, both of our meals provided. Uh, you know, we have soda and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. If uh, if you have not made it down to Titletown Pinball, highly recommend that uh, that you uh, make your way down here because it is it is a treat. It is definitely a treat. So uh, the the uh, the buzzer that you may have heard in the background means that uh, round three is concluded, and. Uh, we are coming up here to round four. Uh, so we have uh, my. Uh, so I am uh, number four on total nuclear annihilation. Tom Graff is going to be player three on Robo War. Uh, 
Uh, I, I bring these names up just because they're the ones that will be sitting down here and doing some commentary. Uh, so we have the two of us. I don't know what we're what we're cheering for, but there's something to cheer for. There's always something to cheer for here at Tuttletown. Uh, let's see. We have Ben Granger as uh, player four on Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, with James Dietrich, Jim Radovich, and Kel McBrayer. And then uh, Luke Nahorniak is uh, player number three on 8-Ball Champ with Rick Barron, uh, Vale Voice, and uh, Brian Leitner. So uh, these are these are the, uh, the one of the four games that we would potentially be watching here. All right, so uh, we are all set here, and let's see uh, let's see what Tom has set up for us. We have total nuclear annihilation. Uh, so this is this is fantastic. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Mr. Polar Bear there. Uh, this is Jordan Semero. Uh, I've uh, uh, I've been uh, streaming with Tom here for a few months now, and uh, <laughs> uh, Tom Tom's not happy about his uh, his uh, call on Ro Robo War here. Uh, so so yeah, uh, I'm I'm Jordan Semero. Uh, I've been playing pinball for about four years, uh, mostly in the Seattle area, and then I moved back to Wisconsin. Uh, in June of 2018. Uh, so with that, uh, I uh, got plugged in here with Titletown Pinball and, uh, uh, and with the Fox 80s Pinball League. So uh, Tom and I have become fast friends and, uh, and uh, Twitch streaming uh, buddies. So fast friends and bitter enemies. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know, it's funny, it's funny how pinball can do that. <laughs> no. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that's who I am. Uh, and then we have Tom Graff here, if you don't know him. Uh, he is one of the one of the heads of Fox Hades Pinball, uh, the Fox Hades Pinball League, uh, which also is also uh, a uh, state uh, representative for IFPA. Yes, yes. Uh, so he has been he has been instrumental in uh, building the pinball community in the area as well. Um, we now have uh, what thirty two players in the uh, the Fox Hades Pinball League every month. Yeah, uh, 34. 34 this year. Okay. I think it's 34. Uh, which is crazy because we, we uh, What's each. What's that? Seeing some players? Yeah, oh. well, you know, Jordan's talking. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, the, the Fox City's Pinball League is very cool because we, uh, we have people that are uh, uh, willing to host at their own house uh, to uh, uh, e every single month. So we have. Uh, uh, Lots of varied games, lots of very dedicated players here um, that uh, collect their stuff, and um, yeah, it's very cool. So uh, Tim Enders uh, finishes ball one with not a lot going on. Uh, looks, uh, it, it looked like he didn't make a lot of progress on his grid, and uh, did not get any balls locked. Ended at uh, 2,700 points, which uh, is not what he wanted to see after this, uh, after his ball one here. Uh, we have Eric Thorin, our current leader, uh, who is coming up here. He hit his lock on the fly, uh, which is a dangerous shot to go for. But, uh, you know, if you can pull it off, then uh, by all means, pull it off. Uh, and once again, look at that. Just a little kick up into the right in lane and then a backhand to that lock shot. It's exactly what, what he wanted to do. Uh, looks like it's a little bit out of control. He does not have his save lit on his, uh, his lanes yet. Uh, but, yeah, there he should be able to get. Oh! Got a little bit of control and uh, flipped it away too quickly. Uh, if he had if he had let that rest or tip pass over to the right, then uh, he would have had a nearly guaranteed multi ball. Just considering his shot accuracy on that from the right. Uh, so we have Jesse Carpenter as player three. He went for his uh, top lane skill shot. He's got it trapped up on the right, and he knows exactly what he wants to do, and that's to start that multi ball. So uh, as valuable as it is to have the uh, the 3x scoring during a three ball multi ball, uh, his main goal right now should be to fill up that grid, uh, which is right about in the center of the play field. Uh, so as he does that, then that will get his reactor going. And once he gets his reactor going, and that's where the points really come by building up that reactor value and destroying it. Uh, that being said, I am. Uh, oh, uh, looks like he actually got his ball back. Fantastic. Uh, I did not think that uh, that he had that, but. Uh, I think that because of the kick out from that scoop that he got a little bit of a ball save. All right, I will be up as player four and we'll be right back.
that was a less than an inspiring, um, uh, less than inspiring ball one there for me. Uh, I did get one ball locked, but uh, wasn't able to cash that in. So that will leave that uh, that will leave that uh, in there for Tim to uh, to cash in on that. And there he got the lock quick shot, uh, and because that was actually starting the multi ball, he got seventy five thousand points for that, uh, which is not insubstantial in a game of uh, in a game of uh, TNA. So uh, looks like he is not getting that uh, that ball back there. Uh, he's struggling to grab a little bit of control, and there he just ended his multi ball. It was quick, but he did get some progress on his grid. Uh, so at this point, if he wanted to get back into multi ball, he would have to hit all three of those drop targets that are flashing blue uh, down, and then get the ball in the scoop in the back. That would relight his locks, and then he would need to uh, lock both balls and then release those if he wanted to get into another multi ball. TNA. Uh, the the nice thing is that on TNA, the oh wow. Uh, oh, he did get that back. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow, what a drain. Uh, well, uh, he, he did get some points there, which is good. Uh, I think that he probably cashed in one or two jackpots during his multi-ball. Uh, it was, it was uh, so quick, it was a bit tough to see. Uh, the, the jackpots when you are in multi-ball is the, uh, the same targets that you're hitting to, uh, to get into multi-ball. So uh, the first one is a, is a jackpot, mm -hmm. the second is a double. The third is a triple, and then uh, if you can get it all the way back to the scoop, that is a super jackpot. And all of those values are multiplied by the number of balls that are still in the play field. So uh, if you do that with three balls, then uh, you, uh, you have a 3x super jackpot. Plus, that will add a ball if you can get it back into the scoop. So you can get up to four balls on the play field, 4x scoring, which is huge. Uh, now, the other thing that you want to do uh, is in that upper play field area, uh, first of all, he did get his multiplier, which is good, uh, his bonus multiplier. But the uh, one, two, three targets where you see the arrows on the right, uh, as you uh, complete those, then uh, uh, that will build your reactor value. And if you complete all three of those, you can re uh, max that out. So ultimately, what you'd like to do is uh, max out that reactor value, get that lit and, and ready to be destroyed, and then get into a multi-ball so that oh. you can get a 3x max uh, reactor value when you destroy it. Uh, so as we actually get to a point where the... Uh, oh, I'm up uh, on Robo War. <laughs> there goes Tom. Uh, as we get to a point where the uh, reactor is ready to be destroyed, then uh, we will... Uh, then we can commentate a little bit more on how to do that. Uh, it, it's essentially three steps. Uh, you complete the grid uh, to get it ready, and then you have to get it into the scoop, and that will start your reactor. And then in order to uh, build up the, uh, the reactor so that it goes uh, into uh, a state that's ready to be destroyed, uh, oh, wow, that was an unfortunate drain. But that leaves three balls uh, or two balls locked so that I can hopefully get my multi-ball pretty quickly here. Uh, we'll be back with commentary right after my ball. So uh, Jordan is up here. Looks like he's got his reactor lit. He's got to get it up top to uh, build some, uh, oh, to build up to destroy the reactor. So. All right, so at least I, I got to uh, start a multi-ball there. Uh, put myself into second place going into ball three. Um, and I did get my reactor started. Uh, now the next thing that I want to do is get into the upper play field, and every switch that you hit up there uh, will build the, uh, the reactor so that it will uh, 
uh, get into a state where it can be destroyed. Uh, so I want to keep it in that upper play field as much as possible. Uh, Tim, looks like Tim, Tim is, was going for the skill shot. Yeah, he was going. It looks like he was going for the uh, the lock quick shot, uh, which uh, if you can get it on on an orbit there uh, to go right into the lock, uh, then he gets that twenty five thousand that he needs for the lock quick shot. Uh, so uh, you can do that for the. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> it actually got stuck on the spinner. Fantastic. We'll see what uh, happens here. I'll be tournament director here. All right. Uh, so oh, he got it back. He, he got it back. All right, so he locked his, his next ball here. Uh, and then if he can get the lock quick shot, oh, he's, he's not going for it. He just he just wants the safe multi-ball. Um, I did notice while playing this that the, the Forgotten uh, Sage, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, who's followed so far. Yes, we definitely appreciate it. Um, so uh, on Thanks this for the su sub su subscription, Scribble. <laughs> so on this game, uh, a good score, uh, it, it really it really depends. Uh, so, I mean, this the, the scores can vary wildly. Uh, so Tim is, Tim is having a solid game here at about, uh, at about 600K right now. Uh, at this point, uh, he is in his multi-ball, which is great. Uh, he just destroyed his reactor. Um, with all three balls on there, so then that that gave him a significant boost in score. Uh, if you can hit a million, uh, you generally have had a had a pretty solid game. Uh, a fantastic game would be two million, and uh, anything above that is beyond <laughs> beyond my skill level. That's for sure. So, uh, okay, so he does have his ball save going because uh, he destroyed that reactor. Uh, another another thing uh, to watch out for is the uh, the in lanes and the out lanes. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on the stream here, but you have S A V E, and if you complete all four of those, uh, then uh, that will actually light a ball save uh, on those in lanes. So you can uh, you can hit those either on in lanes or out lanes, and that can potentially extend a multi ball. Uh, it can uh, potentially uh, save even a single ball. Uh, so now he's got his triple jackpot. If he gets it up there uh, quickly before, oh, uh, he's not even going for it. Uh, if he was able to get it up there uh, quickly before the ball drained, then he could get a super jackpot and uh, an add a ball. It's an unfortunate feed from the from the lock shot, but that was still a very good, uh, uh, very good ball. Definitely puts uh, Tim in a commanding lead here, going into uh, ball three for Eric, Jesse, and myself. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Swibble, you are correct. Uh, two mil plus is is a very good game. Uh, it is difficult to get there. This is a difficult game to control uh, for a number of reasons. So first of all, the uh, um, the uh, uh, the flippers tend to be a little bit shallow, and it's a very bouncy game as well. Uh, that uh, okay? So, oh, okay. So there, he's uh, using up his ball save as quickly as he can. <laughs> uh, so so we see the flashing uh, V shot there. Uh, and, and that does adjust here based on uh, when he hits the flippers. But uh, that flashing shot on the in lanes and the out lanes is the, uh, is the uh, indicator that he can uh, use his ball save. Uh, so it looks like he is going for his multi-ball again. So he's got two balls locked. Now he just needs to uh, hit, those captive, or hit the, uh, the balls that are captive behind the drop targets in order to start that multi-ball. And there it is, a clean shot. The backhand is usually a, a pretty safe shot. Um, another thing that makes this game particularly difficult is uh, uh, that, and I've seen this not only on this particular uh, total nuclear annihilation, but uh, on, on others as well, that uh, the right flipper is getting a bit spongy. So uh, I, during my ball, I was trying to hit that reactor shot from the right, and I just could not hit it uh, because I kept on going late. So it just it feels like it's a little bit weak. All right, so that's, that's a, a good place for uh, Eric to be in. Uh, nice use of the ball save there to continue his multi-ball. Um, so now what he needs to do is he needs to uh, get one of those balls at least up into that upper play field, and there he did. Uh, and we see that number in the upper play field that, that goes up as he hits switches there. And so uh, that is, that is uh, sending the uh, reactor into overdrive, which will allow it to be destroyed. Uh, so if he can get another ball up there, hopefully he can hit a few more switches and build that up. Uh, he can also build up his value while he's up there. And this is the place that you want. Oh, wow. Uh, this is the place that he wants to be. Uh, uh, previously, he wanted to be there with the multi-ball uh, in tow. 
So, uh, oh, okay. So there was a drain, but there was uh, some good value in there. Got him to about 350,000 points, uh, 361,000 points to end his game. Uh, so definitely not catching up to Tim, but uh, put some distance between uh, him and Jesse and myself. Uh, so uh, this will be Eric's uh, first game that he's not taking the first on. So finally, uh, finally breaks his perfect streak, uh, which <laughs> as a competitor, I'm okay with. Uh, ooh, and he's not going to get a grace period on that. All right, I will be up for my ball three, and we'll see what happens. Jordan is up here. Currently in third, he's got to uh, get up top and start destroying that reactor. He's doing the smart thing by locking balls. Uh, good. So see on the middle of the play field how the or, uh, upper middle play field, that time just went away. Now he's got his reactor ready to destroy. He's want to start multi-ball, which he did. And now he's got three times scoring because he's got three balls going and just got his reactor value for three times that shot. So his score is going to shoot up here. Um, now what he wants to do is hit that grid um, and uh, get to the next reactor. So he's got his reactor lit at the scoop to start it. And right now he's in two ball multi ball, so he's got double scoring on the play field. Uh, it looks like he's going, he's got to knock all those drop targets down and get in the scoop so he can relight his locks. Yeah, I agree. Two plus million is a good game. Uh, of course, it depends on how the game's playing and. So he's uh, back in multi-ball. Looks like he's got, oh, now he's out of multi-ball, it looks like, yep. Oh, he's got the mystery also lit at the scoop, which can sometimes be 150,000 points, which would really help him here. And he just destroyed his reactor, so he's catching, trying to catch Tim Enders here. Oh. So let's see what his bonus is. Not enough to catch Tim, but a, a solid second place on this game, it looks like. So. Uh, nice ball, dude. So. Uh, wish, wish I could have made it. Uh, man, well, I, 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 did, I did exactly what I wanted to do uh, for the most part. And then once I got back into single ball play, uh, just yeah. just didn't didn't pan out for me but uh yeah and that that was it exactly mystery was the shot that i wanted to go for and i was trying to backhand that because i'm fairly certain that would have given me about 150k uh which would have put me in first but uh i uh, couldn't quite cash that in uh but still i i was i was really really happy with that uh, being able to get that add a ball and then get the uh the reactor destroyed or two reactors destroyed so I, I gotta say, and I, I don't hear a lot of people talking about this, uh, okay. but uh, holy cow, they did a fantastic job with the light show on this. <laughs> the light show on this game is so cool. Uh, you the, know, the, 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 the sounds, the the light show, the the design of this game, uh, it, just from an aesthetic perspective, is so cool. Yep. Uh, it is definitely definitely a, a well packaged game. Yeah, um, you know, there there are some some things that I think could be a little bit better. The uh, uh, the, the flippers, uh, so the, the right flipper on this one I noticed was a little bit spongy. Okay. Uh, so uh, anytime I was going for the scoop, uh, where the scoop shot should have been was uh, just shy of an orbit. Uh, so things were, things were just a little bit off there. Um, but, uh, and, and also just the shallowness of the flippers just make this game very, very difficult. 
uh, to actually you know trap up and get control. Uh, does this come with like super rubbers or anything like that? Kind of pre-installed uh, because they're, I they're think ridiculously yeah, bouncy. Yeah, I think they're the perfect play from Pinball Life. Okay. Uh, I believe so. Okay. Yeah. So so it just it, you know in combination with uh, the game just being as bouncy as it is, and then the shallow flippers, uh, and a lot of dangerous shots as well. It, it is just, not an easy game. It is not an easy game by any means. It so. can't, you know, you can you can do very well on it. Um, Consistent play is hard to maintain yeah, on this, you, though. You need to play in control on this game. Uh, just like Patrick's doing right now, he's trapping up and, and trying to go for lock shots. Yep. That's a great strategy to have. Yeah, but, but I mean, you see, though, like even, even with him playing as controlled as he is, uh, it's very easy to just get some oh, slings yeah. back and forth. That, uh, oh, wow, very, very nice. That lower middle play field is, uh, is got some deadly shots on it. Yeah, and, and luckily, you know, luckily they've accounted for that to an extent. I mean, obviously you have the ball save feature that happens right. with the in lanes and the out lanes, which is awesome. Uh, uh, but then you also, uh, when you destroy a reactor, you get, I think, by default, what, nine, ten seconds of ball save, which is great. Yes. And that doesn't go off if you drain immediately. That's an actual full ten seconds of ball save. Yep. Um, and then... Uh, uh, and then same thing out of the scoop, just that, that two-second ball save that you get when, uh, when it's coming out of the scoop is so helpful uh, in just making this a, a more playable game. So, uh, oof, man. Not a great game for Patrick, but that doesn't matter because it's not a uh, tournament game. So he can play as badly as he wants. Looks like uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon is the only game currently not... Where is Roller Coaster Tycoon? It must have moved. Uh, yes, I, uh, it's it's uh, right down to it's it's on the other side of Iron Maiden. Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, 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 looks like uh, we got Ben Granger up there right yeah, now. Yeah, that, that's gonna be a while. Yeah, uh, he's at about five million. <laughs> so I mean, it doesn't look like he's having a, a blow up game, but he's at least doing something. First week. Wow. He must have it set up too easy. Twenty six million was that? Just watch the high scores. It's been in there seven days. Well they're not there's there's twenty six million, but then nobody's even the close. Spots. Thirteen seconds. 43, 43 seconds seven. for Reactor 2, 8 seconds for Reactor 3, 17 for Did 4. The, was wow. the glass off? I, 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 think, I think that you got some switches firing. <laughs> that shouldn't be. <laughs> uh, unless it was Bowen Karens or Keith Ellen yeah. or one of, one of those type of players. Uh, it is not easy to get 26 million on on this game. Yeah, you know I haven't made it there, uh, so you know my that, my best is like five million. Yeah, yeah, that's five million is a huge score, <laughs> and that's in the home environment where I can play it whenever I want to. Yeah, and you know if you have a crappy ball one, you can just uh, hold down that start button and start right over. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Never. But uh, you do have those set up for uh, roughly tournament settings generally, like no extra balls and such, right? Yeah, Yeah. So, for the most part. Uh, Sometimes when I stream a game, I'll turn them on. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, okay, wow. I can't believe that he got that back. It looked like it was right down the middle, and uh, I don't know, some some crazy magnetism just uh, took, it <laughs> <All right. laughs> took it right back up into play. I'm going gonna to get ready to move the camera here because we're going to be starting the next round soon. So. All right, sounds good. All right, so, uh, <coughs> hey, there's Tom. All right, so uh, we are changing up the games here, and uh, so we will just go back to, uh, go back to uh, the announcer camera. Hello. Uh, so, yeah, uh, in case you were just joining us, uh, welcome to the Fox 80 Spinball stream. Uh, I'm Jordan Semro, and uh, I'm commentating and playing in this tournament. Uh, so we have two tournaments going on today. We have a match play tournament uh, that is uh, that started at 9.30 a.m. Uh, and uh, will go until God knows when. 
Uh, and then we have a uh, 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 knockout tournament going on right after that. Uh, so it's going to be a long day of pinball. I have a feeling that we'll be here till probably uh, 11, 12 at night, something along those lines. Uh, so we have a lot of pinball to stream, and we will be here all day giving you all the commentary that we can, uh, as well as playing and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, uh, so this is happening at Tidal Town Pinball in, uh, in Green Bay, Wisconsin, uh, run by the awesome proprietor, Eric Thorin. Uh, he essentially just put his uh, a, a good chunk of his collection here. He has 52 games at Tidal Town Pinball. Uh, he only opens this up for uh, special events and tournaments that he runs. Uh, it's such a cool environment. Uh, really cool people playing here. The games are in great condition. There's a huge variety. Uh, everything from, you know, Iron Maiden, you know, just a, a brand new Stern game, uh, all the way back to uh, we have Volley and we have Sky Kings, you know, these old single player uh, electromechanical games. So uh, there's a lot to do here. Uh, all of the games are on free play, so uh, so when you come in and you pay for your, your tournament entry, uh, that's the only thing that you're paying for. Uh, he occasionally has uh, some soda and, and uh, some snacks out and stuff like that. Uh, it, it's, it's such a great environment, and major kudos to Eric just for everything that he's done. Uh, we're regularly getting 65-plus uh, people uh, playing in these tournaments now. Uh, all right. Yes. Uh, so we will uh, we will get ready here for the next round. Uh, just a moment. Mouse is uh, disconnected. It looks like. So. All right. Um, all right. So we are going to uh, last action hero. Uh, will be the game that we are following. We have Tom Graff, Ryan Spindler, Bob Twitchell, and uh, Byron Schmitz uh, that is playing in. Uh, uh, that is playing here in uh, round five, I believe we're in. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, looks like I will be player two on Indiana Jones here. Uh, so I will... Uh, be going back and forth here between Deanna Jones and commentating for you. Uh, Tom is leading us off on uh, on Last Action Hero. Uh, it's an interesting game. It's a Data East uh, from the early 90s. Uh, so uh, Data East games are very unique just in how they play. There's something about, even if you didn't know that it was the Data East game, you could walk up to one and you would know that it's Data East just based on how it's played. Uh, the, some of the rule sets, uh, a lot of the sounds that you hear going from one game to another are very similar. So uh, what Tom's going to want to do here, uh, and uh, keep in mind I've only played a, a couple of games, uh, he'll want to go for modes and for multiball. Uh, I will be back here as I am up on Indiana Jones, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Well, ball one on uh, Indiana Jones did not go well for me. It was uh, a quick tilt. Uh, I think I ended my ball one with 52,000 points. So, uh, yeah, before I even hit anything from the flippers, uh, it was just uh, very quick. So, all right. So uh, we have Tom up here on Last Action Hero. Uh, and uh, so uh, a couple things that, uh, that you can do on this. Uh, so first of all, uh, 
generally when I start a game, uh, I, I hit the smart button, which is a, a second button on the on the plunger uh, that uh, completes some shots for you. Uh, so I do that relatively early because then that will generally queue me up for multi-ball right off the bat, uh, which is uh, pretty valuable here. Uh, once you get into multi-ball, uh, you hit the left ramp, and that will get your jackpot. And then you have a timed double jackpot uh, that will light in the crane shot, which is right in between that scoop that he just hit and the left ramp. Uh, and that will, that will give you a 2x jackpot. So it looks like what he's going for here is uh, modes. Right now he's in uh, Search for Benedict, uh, in which he has to hit uh, uh, the three scoops to find him. Uh, which scoop he is in, we don't know. Uh, each one of those is representative of a door that you'll see on the display here. Uh, so it looks like he just hit uh, the first. Uh, okay, so he just hit the second door, um, and it did not activate for him. I don't know why. Uh, so he did hit the ramp during that, uh, which started his, uh, or which lit his uh, mode shot again. Uh, so right now he is uh, he is in uh, crane mode, uh, where uh, he just wants to go for that crane shot, which is flashing green. Uh, that one that he just hit, but he needs to hit it a little bit more cleanly so that he can get all the way around to the uh, saucer that's in the back. All right, I will be up for uh, uh, commentating right after my ball two. Greenbreed, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Sorry I was playing there. Um, all right, so we got Ryan Spindler up, player two. And not sure which mode he's in. I don't know this game that well. I'm no Jordan when it comes to rules. Sorry, what was that? I said I'm no Jordan when it comes to rules. <laughs> I said I don't know this game very well. I know you have to hit the... Uh, Hit the left scoop to light a mode, and then uh, shoot the ramp to relight. Right. So uh, first of all, uh, in case you haven't said it, thank you so much, Greenbreed, for uh, for following us. We really, yes. really appreciate it. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, the the things that that I've found on this, because I have not played a lot of Last Action Hero. Uh, first of all, the uh, yeah, as you mentioned, that left scoop is your mode start, uh, and uh, usually it's pretty good about telling you exactly what you need to do to uh, complete the mode. Uh, I was surprised when uh, when you had uh, find or search for Benedict. Uh, yes. That uh, some of those some of those scoops didn't seem to register. Uh, maybe it does not if it sees that it's coming from the from the pops. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if there's a switch up there or not. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Man, I think he was looking for a dead pass there from the right to the left flipper, uh, but uh, it was just a little bit too much on the tip and didn't give him what he wanted. 
Uh, so the other thing, uh, the other uh, valuable thing here is your multi-ball. Um, <coughs> and uh, as I had mentioned uh, while you were playing, uh, hitting the smart button yeah. on, on the plunger will uh, qualify your multi-ball immediately. And so then you would go for that same shot, the mode start shot, and that will start your multi-ball. During that, you hit the left ramp, and that will be your first jackpot. And then that will start a timed double jackpot on the uh, on the uh, the uh, crane shot, uh, which is just to the left of that right, or, uh, or just to the right of that left ramp. Uh, so then, if you if you do that, it's I mean that's you know that's generally how these Data East games go. Whether you're playing Tales from the Crypt or anything like that. You have a jackpot, and then you have a double jackpot. If you can cash in on those, then you're doing pretty well. The nice thing about Last Action Hero, though, is that uh, they actually give you Bob's something. Che Bob's check it was just checking his glasses there. <laughs> the nice thing about Last Action Hero, though, is that uh, uh, post, post uh, uh, now, jackpot now, and double jackpot. Now Brian's checking his. He's making sure <laughs> uh, make it, they're making sure they can see. So uh, after after your jackpot and your double jackpot, uh, then your uh, uh, you have all of these uh, shields that are available uh, for five million apiece. So you actually have something to do after you fit your jackpots on these. Unlike uh, something like Tales well, from the Crypt. Well, that's good to know. I know there were some shields lit. I just didn't know what the heck I was doing. Right. So generally in single ball play, I would not go for those. But if you're in multi ball and you've already hit both of your jackpots, and that's a good way to go, just to add a little bit of padding on top of your score. Uh, so uh, we have uh, Brian coming up here. Now, does the, does the skill shot normally go to the top drop target? So, no. The, the, the skill shot on this is it varies wildly. Okay. Uh, so it hits anything uh, anything between the, the third the, or the middle one and the top one, uh, depending on how it feels in that particular ball. It's really – it's – pretty erratic so uh, it's not particularly valuable though uh, I think that your third skill shot only gets you about four million points which can make a difference but uh, it's it's not the end of the world if you don't hit it okay so uh, I better get over there because I'm gonna be up soon all right uh, so all right we have uh, Brian here starting his uh, cat millions uh, uh, mode, which uh, can be valuable, but uh, it's it's very very uh, risky because this is hitting the spot target that is right in between the ramp and the uh, and the crane shot. Uh, so uh, even if you get that shot, it can just ricochet right back. All right. So with that, uh, I'm going to leave you here as I go up for my ball three on Indiana Jones, and we'll see what happens. was a whole lot of nothing there and Ryan's Ryan is up <coughs> excuse me ten million for that scoop shot all right let's see what Modi gets Super crane. All right, shoot the crane for the super crane. Oh, my, my frickin' ears. Luke Nahorniak joining us. Who? Luke Nahorniak, state pinball champion of Minnesota. No, don't say that. <laughs> 
So what game is this? Last Action Hero? Last Action Hero. No idea how to play it. Uh, I'm I'm not real adverse on the rules myself. I know uh, I know he's in multi ball. He just hit a shield shot for five million. I know you want to get it in the crane, and then it says drop targets, relight crane, which I was trying to do, but uh, did not do that successfully. So that crane is kind of like a uh, Iceman ramp from the like X Men LE. Kinda. Does it move? But it does move, but but not like that, like where it goes back and forth, back and forth while you're trying to shoot shots. So it doesn't shoot the ball down the middle. Uh, I I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to. Let's put it that way. So Ryan Ryan's got a uh, good good second uh, second place there on ball two and looking to move into first. I see uh, Scribbles throwing the MN pinball uh, yes. icons up there in the chat. Thank, Thank you, Scribble. You, Scribble. Has he been given any tilt ratings here? <laughs> Uh, no, because I don't think uh, Terry's here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Anybody can get a rating. One time Ben got a 10. That was a tough drain there. Just a <laughs> little too far bounce off that left side. All right, so uh, Brian Schmitz is up. We call him Lord Byron here in Wisconsin. Reason behind that? Uh, just because his, his name looks like Brian. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm having a brain fart. It's Brian, but it looks like Byron, so we call him Lord Byron. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so to, to get into your multi-ball, what are you looking to shoot here? Um, uh, the uh, captive balls. You want to shoot the uh, captive balls, I believe, to uh, get in the multi-ball. Which are where? Uh, they're... Uh, there's one right here and one right here. Okay, okay. And I probably won't do it, so uh, don't worry about it. Go do it. All right. I'm going to slide in here so I uh, don't get in the way because I, I like to get in the way. But uh, So, yeah, Tom's back up. Looks like the skill shot is uh, like a T2 skill shot, and that was not not it there. Going to get that back, though. There is a ball save by the looks of it. Good to know. See what he does with the uh, ball save here. Smart missile. Where's the ball? Okay, so it uh, seems like a little malfunction going on here. He plunged that. Don't move there. It finally gave him the ball save and auto plunged it out. Back in play. He used a smart missile, though, so he does have multi-ball ready. Uh, looks like he start that at the scoop based on the flashing light. I have no idea if that's true or not, but it is flashing, so shoot that. Oh. Tough feed there. If you missed that, what looks like a middle loop ramp thing, it looks like it loops back around to the left-hand side. If you miss it, the feed is not uh, not pretty there. Uh, the ball drained off the skill shot. And then you used your smart missile. I did because I was afraid it was going to time out and then oh, and this. then end the game. You know, end my game because the ball, the ball save was on. Yeah. And then it took like five minutes to finally realize what was going on and launched it. But then I couldn't hit the scoop for a multi-ball, so yeah, that sucked. All right, so my guess was right. You do shoot the scoop for a multi-ball? Yes. The left, left it's got to be the left side, though. You can't shoot it in the right. And after this game, we are going to be taking a little bit of a break because we're having lunch. So it'll probably be about 15 minutes before the next game starts. All right. So kind of a tough break for me because 
I did not start multi-ball, and Ryan's about to. Well, he's still got some locks to shoot, right? Looks oh, like that, that was that was ball three, so I'm done. No, I know he's still got some locks to shoot here before oh, he, he get does. into multi-ball. I I'm believe the scoop is not flashing. It looks like he's gonna he use the smart missile there. That should light it. Let's see what happens. He gets 25 million for that, and yeah, there it is. He's, it's lit. Ops to shoot the spinner instead, though. <laughs> I don't think that was by uh, that was by uh, accident. I'm sure. And that oh. ball is gone. So I, I don't Let's know what the what bonus is. is like. No, oh, not enough. Not high. Oh. Droogs so. don't run. Thank you for following. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hopefully we said that right. I said it right. I don't know what you said. <laughs> yeah, definitely lucky there. Oh. And he just started a smart missile, so he's got a uh, no. No, no, he drained, and the smart uh, missile was deactivated. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he got it. So Lord Byron gets a chance here. Oh, looks like he's going for multi-ball. I don't know. Is that a good strategy? In this, what's the jackpot value in this game? I'm sure it's pretty high. Plus, you get tw he got 25 million. Yeah. I I want to guess it's somewhere in the range of 25 to 50 million a jackpot shot. So okay, that's there just it is. a guess. So we're gonna find out. Let's take a look. Fifteen million. Shoot the roof for fifteen million. This looks a lot like Jurassic Park. Yeah, I think uh, I think you're right. It's that era of game. So he hit the jackpot. Fifth. So that was off the left ramp. Uh, yes, and he's got to shoot the crane now. And uh, looks out, like he's no ball save on the uh, on yeah, the multi ball. Oof. Oh wow, Snippity! Thanks, uh, thanks for uh, hosting. <laughs> Snippity, skip, skip natty, it, skip natty. Sorry, I I failed English. Eh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. Great redeemer, thanks. Uh, uh, that, that was the same thing that got you the right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go over those guys and talk to them for a minute. I'll be right back. Yep, go over and yell at them, Tom. So uh, as Tom said, uh, we are going to be taking a little lunch break here. So uh, I think that's uh, that's the plan. I don't know. Oh, here we go. We got we got break. So it looks like Tom's going to win that. Ryan's going to come in second. Lord Byron is going to come in third, and uh, Bob's going to follow up in uh, in fourth there. So Skippity, I like Skippity too. And me fail English, that impossible. Said that a few times. Haha. <laughs> Skippity 33K. All right, well, we will be back here after the lunch break. I'm going to hop over into a. Uh, ah, Tom's trying to figure out how to play this game, so we'll let you watch that. I'm going to go eat, though.
All right, I am back here. Um, <clears throat> for those just joining, uh, this is Jordan Semro. I am uh, a pinball player here in uh, Wisconsin. Moved from Seattle. Uh, I've, I've done this. <laughs> I've done this uh, um, rant a couple times here. Uh, so yeah, uh, we are coming at you from Titletown Pinball in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, we have a really cool stream. Awesome couple tournaments here for you. We started at 9:30 this morning. We expect to be going until probably uh, probably about 11 o'clock or midnight, something like that. It's going to be a long day of pinball. We have lots of games, lots of commentating. Um, and uh, we thank you all for, for joining us. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, right now this is not a tournament game that we're watching. Uh, this is uh, Tom Graff playing, uh, uh, looks like, against Ryan Spindler uh, just for fun in between rounds. Uh, so Tom, Tom ended up taking first on that on that uh, game of Last Action Hero. Um, and uh, I believe Ryan Spindler took second. And uh, I don't know I don't know how uh, the rest of it shook out. So uh, I, I think Tom is uh, kind of getting a feel for this game because he, uh, he said that he does not know this game quite as well uh, as, as uh, some of the other games here. Um, I gave him a little bit of a rundown just in terms of uh, mode starts and multi-ball and uh, a couple of other things that he can do to uh, to rack up some points, uh, but he's not getting a chance to do that because he's uh, got that center drain there. That being said, 273 million—that is a heck of a game on this. Uh, I think uh, I think yeah, he's got uh, he's got the grand champ score on it. So uh, congratulations to Tom there. Uh, first of all, for his win in the tournament game, and then uh, for his grand uh, his grand champ score uh, right after uh, right after that game is finished. So. Uh, Ryan is going for uh, that, that flashing scoop there. Uh, he has his multi-ball lit, and uh, if he can do that, then he can probably cash in a uh, cool uh, 50 to 70 million <coughs> in a jackpot and double jackpot. So in this multi-ball, he wants to go for the left ramp, uh, which will be his jackpot, and then once that happens, then there will be a timed double jackpot in the crane shot, which is the, uh, the green shot that, uh, that you might see uh, just up to uh, the right of that jackpot shot. Uh, right now, he doesn't have to worry about that timer because uh, that does not start until after he's hit a jackpot. And there, he just hit his jackpot. And uh, so that gets him a cool 18 million. And uh, so now if he can cash in the, uh, the double jackpot here, that should get him another 40 million or so. All right. There we go. There is the, uh, the double jackpot. <coughs> so that will probably be... Oh, and he's got his smart missile as well. Uh, I don't know what that's giving him at this point. Uh, I know this game uh, better than Tom, but uh, uh, po possibly not as well as Ryan Spindler. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I, I wonder if that, uh, yeah, so it looks like that actually relit jackpots and 
Oh, wow. That was actually a very good time to use that. Uh, apparently, he does know this game better than I do. So, <clears throat> uh, right now, uh, he's got his shields lit uh, up that crane shot on the captive ball on the left that's just above the uh, left out lane. Uh, and uh, a couple other places here that will uh, give him 5 million per shot there. Uh, that ends his multi ball. And at this point, uh, I'm sure that he's going back for that center scoop there, right there, so he can start his dynamite feature. That will get him into cap millions. Uh, this, this mode is uh, uh, just one target, and it's that flashing yellow target that you just hit right there. And that gives him millions plus uh, for every time that he hits it, but it is a very dangerous uh, mode to play. So uh, with that then, uh, Tom is entering his initials, TRG, as our new grand champ for this game. So uh, congratulations to Tom. Uh, yes, Great Redeemer, there are many other games that will be streamed here. Uh, we are generally just following the uh, the uh, top the, the the game that is being played by the top players in the tournament so far. Uh, so in this case, it was uh, it was Last Action Hero. Uh, but every single round, we are switching that game out uh, so that we can try something different. Um, <coughs> so uh, I got I to wait in the food line. Okay. <laughs> have you eaten yet? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. uh, so yeah, we are we are taking a little bit of a break here from the tournament, uh, specifically uh, because it is uh, it is lunchtime and we have lots of really good food here. What was that? Uh, I I haven't heard anything saying no, uh, and you know I've I've had drinks here, so uh, you know presumably food would be less uh, less obtrusive than than drinks. So. Uh, all right, so uh, joining me on stream again is Luke Nahorniak. Uh, Luke, how have you been playing so far today? Uh, enough to win on some games, pretty good on some others. All right, cool. Uh, so actually, uh, while, we're, while we're waiting here, uh, let's take a look at the current standings now that uh, our first five rounds have completed. All right, so uh, right up, so yeah, Luke. Apparently, you are doing pretty well. Uh, so we have you in second place here, right behind Tom Graff, uh, who. Uh, as mentioned, just uh, just like first on the uh, on his last game on Last Action Hero, and then followed it up with a Grand Champ score uh, yeah. just for fun. So you know he's uh, he's been playing pretty well there. Uh, third place we have Eric Strangeway and Eric Thorin, uh, two of our, our premier players in the Fox Cities area. Uh, Eric Thorin is the purveyor of Title Town Pinball. Uh, so once again, big thanks to him for all that he's doing uh, in terms of building this community. We're regularly getting 60 plus players at our uh, at our Tuesday night leagues, at his monthly tournaments. These things are huge. It, it's it's absolutely insane just the the level of commitment that he has to his place and and uh, just what he's put into uh, building a really really great pinball community in the area. Uh, Eric Strangeway is another big player here in the Fox Cities. Uh, he is uh, he along with Tom Graff are uh, two of uh, the, the two people that run the Fox Cities Pinball League. Uh, so that is a monthly league here that we have 34 players in right now. Um, we keep that number smaller because uh, we play each month at a private collection at somebody's home, uh, and uh, so it, you know it doesn't make sense for us to you know cram 70 people into. Uh, Tom's basement, <coughs> unless he's doing his uh, unless he's doing his big tournaments for the year. At which case, uh, you know, we've had a couple people pass out from heat exhaustion <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> just from <laughs> from you know uh, what thirty six games or so that he has in his basement. Plus, like so many people playing down there, it's it's a lot of fun, but it gets very very hot in that basement. Very little airflow. Yep. Uh, so uh, what else do we have? So we have Andrew Caston, Tim Enders, Christopher Hare. Uh, ben Granger, myself, and Jane in uh, uh, in fifth place here, tied at 27 points. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we're still early in the tournament, though. Uh, we are only past five rounds, and we have uh, another nine rounds to go. Uh, so, there's going to be a lot of a lot of potential volatility in these standings. Uh, and the nice thing is that we have uh, we have the setup as a Swiss style style tournament. Uh, which means that uh, that generally people who are similarly ranked uh, in the tournament so far will be playing against each other. So uh, we won't have Tom Graff playing against somebody who's in 30th place uh, and just taking uh, taking another win there necessarily. It, it is a tiered Swiss format, it is. though. So the earlier rounds, you are playing top seeds or playing the lower seeds. Right, yes. But so, uh, by the last three, four rounds, you'll be... 
all the top players will be playing together. Exactly. So uh, it, it creates a nice volatility there so that, uh, um, you know, we, we're not just guaranteeing or, or, you know, we're not putting probability on those, uh, those top four players just all getting sevens in the round and just staying at the top with no chance of anybody else to catch them. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool tournament format that we have going here. Uh, for those not aware of uh, match play, uh, the way that this works, uh, the, the players will be called on a random game uh, with, uh, with three other opponents on that game. And uh, you play a four-player game, and uh, the top scorer will take seven points, and then five for the second place, and then three, and then one. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is telling us that once he starts eating, then everything goes downhill in terms of his play. Uh, you know, it's that, that classic Thanksgiving turkey syndrome. You know, you get full, you get sleepy, your reaction goes down. Um, but uh, that's why I have another uh, large can of Monster in the fridge. So <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully that will at least keep me going uh, pretty well through our first tournament. <clears throat> you mentioned the, uh, the turkey. I actually had on New Year's Eve, we had a tournament at my place. Yeah. And we served turkey at it, so yeah. it was it was a strategic move there. <laughs> and you you were you were strategically just like sneaking ham or something in the corner that uh, yeah I had a couple like uh, White Castle sliders tucked away uh, that I'd sneak in to exactly. avoid the turkey. You yeah. know, as a tournament director, I think that you have the the discretion to do that. Um, you know, that's that's not cheating. That is just playing the odds. So yep. fantastic. Uh, so let's see. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so as, as mentioned here, we are uh, just uh, taking a bit of a break here as we have our, our lunch. Uh, awesome food here provided by, uh, by Joe and Susan Stead. Uh, they made uh, a fantastic taco bar here um, with all the fixings that you can think of. Uh, we have uh, beef and chicken and uh, like kind of like a chicken fajita mix, which is really good. We got this queso cheese that we can throw on top. And we've been sitting here at this, uh, at this streaming booth, which is mere feet away from all of this food my mouth has been watering all morning now that i finally got three tacos in me you know i think i can concentrate more on the stream so <laughs> yep for sure all right uh so let's uh let's take a look back and just see if uh, we have anyone playing here on last action hero uh looks like we do so uh yeah hopefully hopefully this will be a more entertaining stream at least watching uh some practice games on here rather than uh, just watching numbers and names <laughs> at this point. Great Redeemer. Uh, so you're asking if any other tables are going to be streamed later. The, uh, the Rick Tom's got set up is completely mobile. So he's basically just been following the top group. I know he's streamed Last Action Hero. He was streaming Jurassic Park right. earlier. He streamed the getaway. I, I am not happy that he streamed that Jurassic Park game because that was that was not not a good game for me. All right, uh, I, I lit my multi ball ball one and never cashed in on it. I just I, I could not hit the the right like half orbit that would feed to the to that upper right flipper. Couldn't get it to the T Rex, and I think I ended at about forty million. So uh, wasn't wasn't happy with that. That was my worst game of the day. But right. uh, yeah, but yeah. So I guess to answer your question, any game in here is a. Uh, able to be streamed it's just a matter of uh, what the groups go to and this is one of two tournaments today so after the 14 rounds is it 14 rounds match 14 play? rounds of match play there is a uh, strike tournament uh, I believe? four strike tournament correct yeah so uh, so uh, both of these will will be worth a uh, hundred percent uh, what's called TGP which is uh, the scoring percent essentially for the International Flipper Pinball Association uh, so we have two long tournaments uh, the nice thing is that the match play tournament is first and then we have the knockout tournament second so, you know, if uh, towards the second half of the day you're starting to kind of go downhill, you might end up getting out of the second, the second tournament in three, four, or not, not three rounds. If you got out in three rounds, that would be a problem. But, uh, you know, you, you might get out in the, the first few rounds there, and, uh, uh, you know, you, you, won't be, uh, you won't be required to stay to finish out the tournament there. So I think that he has a nice setup uh, for what we have going. Uh, my guess, as I mentioned before, is that we'll probably be streaming until 11 o'clock midnight something like that um, so yeah, sure. so what, what are your plans for the night then are you staying in the area uh, I always drive back after the tournament so all right so uh, uh, I'm usually driving until like three four in the morning sometimes uh, depending on when we get done obviously so how, how are the how, uh, I, I know that we're not talking about super entertaining stuff but how are the roads here uh, from from Minneapolis 
uh, considering the the weather that we've been having? Not too bad. I mean, okay. you get in the left lane, a little icy, uh, just because it's been so cold. I mean, driving out my truck this morning when I got into it, got on the road, negative 26 is what it read on the dashboard. <laughs> yep. so. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I think uh, I think that this is a testament uh, testament to uh, competitive pinball. Just that uh, we've had uh, such a such a fantastic turnout here, despite uh, d you know despite the weather that we've been having. You know, I know a lot of people just don't want to get out in this weather. Uh, you know, it's been so cold. We've been having the freezing rain. Uh, we had uh, a lot of snow recently. Uh, it's you know kind of crazy. Uh, for you know, if anybody from uh, my my old pinball days in Seattle is watching. Uh, I know that you guys are going through the quote-unquote snow apocalypse, where there was an expected six inches of snow, of which I think they've gotten two. Uh, you know, stay safe out there, considering the uh, the crazy things that I've I've been seeing going on out there. Uh, bread shelves are just completely completely sold out. Uh, I saw I saw lines wrapping all the way around Costco just to get in. People are freaking out about this snow. Whereas anybody here in, in Wisconsin is saying six inches, you know, that's a Tuesday. Like yep. that's that's not a problem. Um, I do have to hand it to them though. The uh, uh, the the terrain out there makes for much more treacherous driving uh, with any sort of like slippery conditions. It's much more hilly and, and stuff like that. You know, you don't want to get caught downtown Seattle. Uh, you know, going from first to second uh, street uh, or avenue. Is it? Uh built right on the ocean bays right so exactly it's, everything's going up from the ocean exactly so especially downtown seattle uh yeah everything is just on this gradient that uh that leads up until you get to uh uh essentially until you get past uh past the water to like the fremont ballard area um <clears throat> just everything is a hill up or down and uh yeah so if anyone's watching then uh then stay safe out there uh, but uh, then again, if you're watching, hopefully you're at home watching and uh, you can just sit back and enjoy some pinball because we have a lot coming for you. <coughs> so, uh, so Luke, of, of these games, of these 52 games that we have here, what is it that you want to avoid? Anything in particular? Nothing in particular. I mean, I, I like any pinball. Any pinball I feel is fun. Some of the older games, like the... Uh, well, you got beat the clock. You got volley. Pop a card is one I'd probably uh, want to avoid. It's got the little flippers on it. It's a EM game with little flippers, and right. those are generally you plunge the ball, hope you get to flip, and right. uh, hope you get some points. So. Yeah, there there seems to be a lot more luck involved in those kinds of games. Uh, you know, it's it's interesting that the main mechanic of the game is is an add a ball. Uh, yep. You know, so by by completing those banks on there, then. Uh, that lights targets for wow, which uh, gets you uh, an add a ball, and you know you can you can stack up to I think ten balls. Um, but trying to trying to actually skillfully go for those wow targets is yep. it's a pain. You know, uh, so anytime that you hit them, it's it's generally a, a lucky bounce off of a sling or something along those lines. Uh, so uh, looks like we're about to uh, get started again here. So. Uh, uh, we will uh, be changing our games. Uh, here, you can actually get a, a pretty good sense of what it's like uh, to, to be here at Titletown from the, uh, uh, the camera that we have set up here. Uh, so we have uh, two big walls here, uh, each with, uh, I'd say, about 15 games on them. And then we have an entire center island with uh, probably another 10 games in each of those, um, uh, or along each side of that center. Uh, it's an amazing place that, that Eric has set up here. Really, really glad that we have Titletown Pinball in the Fox Cities area. You got the groups up on here? Let's take a look here and see if uh, anything's been called yet. Nope, nope we are yet. still on round five. So you've been uh, you've been in the Wisconsin area now for a year and a half, two years. Nope. Uh, so well, I, I grew up in the area. Okay. Uh, but then I moved out to Seattle in 2014. Uh, found competitive pinball uh, about six months after I moved. I, I I lost it. I just I dove headfirst into there. 
I uh, started running tournaments at our local arcade, uh, like I think a month after I started playing, and uh, absolutely fell in love with it. I got to play with some of the best in the world out there. Uh, uh, Kaylee George left right before right before I started playing, but then he came back towards the end of my time in Seattle. Uh, but playing against Kevin Burrell, Dave Stewart, uh, Raymond Davidson, uh, you know, I I got to learn from the best, uh, not necessarily from them saying, "Hey, you should have done this" or or anything like that, but just being able to play directly against them, I get to see their strategies, and I tend to pay way more attention to what they're doing um, as. Uh, uh, you know, if I'm competing against them rather than, uh, you know, just, you know, uh, watching them on stream or something along those lines. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I played out there for, uh, well, we moved out there for about four years, and then I just moved back to Wisconsin in uh, in June of 2018. Okay. Uh, so it was perfect timing because uh, two weeks later, uh, Title Town opened. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, that was the biggest thing that uh, I was scared about when it came to uh, – leaving Seattle was uh, missing the pinball scene. And I do miss my friends out there. I do miss those locations. And, like, you know, I, I love going back for the shows and stuff. But uh, it, it's so cool just to see how much of a wellspring there has been around pinball in this area uh, just over the last six months even. Uh, and I know that it's been cultivating through the Fox City's Pinball League and everything. Um, yeah, it's, it's very, very cool. Yeah, and I know... Uh Pinball is kind of interesting in the sense that you might leave an area, right? You leave Seattle, you don't see those guys at the uh, normal events, but then you go to something like Pinburg, and uh, exactly. a lot of the pinball players, you're going to see them at events like that. Right. And, and Yeah, and I mean, there, there was crazy crossover there, too, because, I mean, like, for instance, uh, Mike Corbett, you know, he was a he was a major player. Well, uh, he was a player here in Seattle, or in, in Wisconsin. Then he moved out to Seattle, and he got really good. He got fantastic. And, uh, you know, so, so I met him out in Seattle, and he, he was actually the one that kind of plugged me in with Tom and, uh, you know, some okay. of the players around here um, saying, hey, you should check out this tournament and talk to Tom and get involved with the league and his big tournaments that he runs every year. Um, and now, now I go to Pinburg and I get to see him there. So, you know, I, I know him from a lot of locations. Um, you know, plus, plus I try to make it out there a couple times a year. Uh, I, I say that as I've only been back for, like, seven months, but... Uh, you know, I go back for the uh, for the Northwest Pinball and Arcade Show, which happens in June every year, which is super, super cool. Uh, and then the uh, Northwest Pinball Championships that happen usually end of August, early September. Okay. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd like to get out to the uh, West Coast sometime and, yeah. and play out there. I, I haven't been. Uh, furthest west I've been to play pinball is Vegas. Okay. A few years ago, I was out there for nationals and uh, yeah. pin golf or pin masters, I guess yeah. I call it. Yep. Yeah, I haven't made it to Vegas yet to play. Um, you know, I've I've definitely traveled for it. Uh, you know, for pinball. So I mean, I go to Pinburg every year now, uh, assuming I can get tickets within the, the the first ten seconds that they're open. Yep. Um, that's coming up, isn't it? Uh, the the I sale think for the, that. The twenty third, I believe. Yes. It's actually kind of conflicting. They got on the website. I think they list the twenty third. Uh, another, or I think they actually list the twenty fourth. Okay. And then on the ticket site, they list the twenty third. So. I'll yeah. be there the first date. Yeah, if exactly. If it's not, then I'll, I'll be there the second time. So. Yeah, um, you know, and and uh, considering we 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 have about uh, you know five six months something like that in between uh, registration and the actual tournament, uh, you know, even if you don't make it right away, if you can get on the wait list, you know, usually yeah. a decent amount of people drop out to the point that you know maybe fifty or hundred people will. Uh, be able to make it in that we're just on the wait list. I think that that's a little bit smaller now that uh, they're not doing it like in in December. Yep. You know, th there's a shorter wait time, but hey, you have a little bit better idea what you're going to be doing in uh, July. So right. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I've been there. Uh, when I was out in Seattle, I would come back for the Midwest Gaming Classic and uh, uh, the Chicago Pinball Expo occasionally. Uh, I've made it down to California Extreme and Indisc, and both of those were really cool tournaments, too. Um, I have yet to make it to, like, Cleveland uh, or Buffalo Pinball uh, or, uh, you know, Texas Pinball Festival or anything yep. like that. There, there's still a lot of places that I, I want to play. They're on my pinball bucket list for sure. So. Yeah, I mean, there's so many big events now throughout the year that to go to all of them gets to be a lot. But uh, you pick one, two, three, something like that. Uh, it definitely uh, breaks up the year. It gives you something to look forward yeah. to, year, to all year long. Yep. 
Yeah, and I like to spread those out as much as possible. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> got a got a couple over the summer in Seattle, which is good, and then October we have the Chicago uh, show, which is good, and um, you know, Pinburg is right in the middle of the summer. So, you know, I think I think between those and local tournaments, you know, it's a it's a good mix. I do want to make it down to Indisc again. Um, the the thing about California Extreme is that the uh, the tournament itself was relatively small. It was fun, but it was small. Uh, the show, holy cow, the show is so cool. Um, if you ever get a chance to go out there, their their entire setup, it's like a maze. So it's not just rows and rows of games. Uh, you go in, and they actually set up like a snaking uh, thing of arcades and pinball machines and stuff okay. like that. So, so you know, if you know where you want to go, that's one thing. But to get there, you're having to pass by all these other games and, and you know, take a look. It's, it's a very, very cool setting. I really enjoyed it. I think I just heard the buzzer, so uh, matches are should be up now. Yes. Um, Let's take a look and see. Uh, all right, we, we do. Got. We so have round six. Uh, so uh, it looks like we'll probably be going over to Total Nuclear Annihilation. I don't know if uh, if Tom's going to want to do that, considering we've already uh, streamed TNA, but uh, we'll, we'll see what he decides. Um, I guess so if not, beat the clock is another one. Uh, up yeah, there in the top, that that'd be an interesting one to stream. I it's yeah. like I'm playing that, so, so that's I, a time-based game. I Way really, different. I really wish that I was playing Beat the Clock. It's one of my favorite games here. It looks like Tom is making his way over to uh, uh, to TNA. Yeah, so we're going back to TNA. Um, so Tom Tom is going to be player four, along with uh, Rick Barron, Ryan Spindler, and Mike Schlumpf. Uh, uh, let's see, Luke Nahorniak will be second on uh, Beat the Clock. Uh, so he'll be right next to the streaming booth, so he might uh, uh, be, be back to join us here. I don't know um, on Beat the Clock, does the time start before you plunge? No, the, the time starts uh, uh, when you hit your first switch. Okay. So either the in-lane switches or that center saucer. Sure. Um, so it, it's, I, I really hope that at some point today we can stream that because I'd love to commentate on, on a game like that. Uh, I am on probably one of my least favorite games here. Bride of Pinbot. Blow it up. Is it the 2.0 or the regular? No, it's the regular. Okay. Uh, so I almost like the regular better, even though it's super basic. The 2.0 adds features that just don't seem to make sense. It's to me. not the rule set that gets to me. It's the actual play of this game. Yeah. I, 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 I just I can't do it. And Tom, Tom, look at this. Look at this. I'm on Bride of Pinbot. We called it. We called this beforehand. It's the, it's the curse. I have to play on Bride of Pinbot because they know that it's my least favorite game here. All right, so uh, uh, we are bringing up here the information for uh, our, our players on uh, Total Nuclear Annihilation. Um. Good bo brother, Greg. I see you uh, followed while we were in the uh, standings there. Uh, thank you for that follow. Yes, we definitely appreciate that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you're, you're, you're giving your, or you're selling yourself short there, Tom. <coughs> All right. So here uh, we have we have our players up here for uh, for total nuclear annihilation. Uh, so we see uh, Rick Barron will be uh, player one. Ryan Spindler is player two. Mike Schlumpf is player three, and Tom Graff. Uh, with 33 points in, uh, and in the lead for the tournament here, so uh, far, taking so up fourth, far. fourth place, so uh, or uh, fourth player. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Just can't screw it up. Yeah, exactly. So uh, a at this point, uh, uh, looks like Rick is uh, draining. Rick, <laughs> yeah, Rick, Rick's a pretty good player. He's won an MGC uh, event before. Oh yeah, that is not. But, <laughs> uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see if he can. Uh, uh, cash in on that multi-ball. I would assume that it knows that it has two balls locked up there. I don't think it does. Oh, uh, really? I mean, because otherwise, why would anything be in uh, that first position? Yeah, so there he starts his oh, multi-ball. Right. So, uh, so in this multi-ball, uh, most likely what Ryan's going to want to go for is uh, that grid. Uh, is you know e even though the uh, the jackpots can be valuable, uh, I, I think uh, <laughs> oh, he is going for his jackpots. Look at this. So. Uh, uh, but uh, make, making progress towards that grid can be very dangerous in single ball play. So using your multi ball, oh, uh, using the advantage of a multi ball <laughs> to go for that uh, can can definitely help your progress there. Uh, 
and it looks like he's about two shots away from completing the grid and uh, getting to a point where he can uh, start his reactor. Uh, great Redeemer, we are going to be streaming the top groups. Uh, so basically, um, anybody who's in uh, per round, we, we switch to whatever is played in the top group. And right now, this is the top group. So. Right. So. <laughs> Oh, All right, I, I'm up. I uh, gotta go. Mike went down there with a with a quick center drain. Uh, looks like he has one ball locked there for Tom. Uh, so if we if we uh, take a look at uh, right up here, we see that we have the locks up there uh, and one ball. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so we have one ball uh, locked up there. All right, bear with me just a moment here, and we will get uh, we will get uh, back to commentating right after uh, my ball. I hit escape to try and get the uh, telestrator to go away. I, I must. Oh, it's I, the erase button right here. If you didn't see that. Oh, I didn't. I did not. Well, I got, uh, uh, no, unfortunately not. Uh, I got uh, Rick set up there for multi-ball. I'm sure he's happy. Got to hit it, though. That was a lot of fumbling by myself. But just two more balls to play. So Rick's uh, got, got multi-ball going. He's got his reactor started now. And it is uh, time to um, well, get the reactor. He's out of multi-ball. Mystery award. Max reactor, that's good. So reactor's at 75,000 right now. Ideally, you'd want to be a multi-ball. Three times that would be great, but he's going to have to wait till, uh, till his next ball. And Ryan Spindler coming up. Nice. So Ryan gets the uh, 100,000 skill shot. Which I never attempt to go for. Oh, that was a nice nudge with no warning. <laughs> well played. All right, he's got two balls locked. Time to start his reactor. Or a multi-ball. Now he's got to get in in the scoop. I'll let them all drain out. He's going to try to plunge them in. There's, There you go. That's how you do it. So that'll get him in his reactor going. Once, you, uh, once it says start reactor, um, the, ball, the ball gate's open on top, and you... Uh, you have to go for the scoop directly unless it's from a uh, from the the plunge. Super spinner is lit. That's signified by that blue 
square on the left side by the left spinner. Nice. Uh, destroyed his first reactor. Control by Ryan, Just trying to light his locks. Got to hit all the drop targets down, get in the scoop. Nicely done, that'll light the locks. He'll get that back. Should get that back, yes. Oh, and it's stuck on the, on the drop target right now. So Ryan decides to bump it out. I probably would have waited for either Tech or uh, or waited for the uh, drop target to come back up. So pretty good ball by Ryan there. So got a got the lead. Here's Mike. Shoots into the lock. Lot two balls. This is where I'm hoping he uh, does not start multi ball and drains. Not very nice, but. Uh, he's got his reactor lit. He's going to want to either start multi ball, which he did, and now start his reactor, which he did. Perfect. And now. Either hit the spinner or get the ball up top. Mainly you want to get the ball up top and start uh, getting your reactor uh, built up to destroy it. And he's in two, one ball play now. All right, there he goes. So mystery award. One X bonus, that is not a good mystery award. So all he's got to do here is uh, hit the drop and be drained. All right, wish me luck. So 
All right, uh, Luke back in the booth here. Uh, I just, I'm done with my game on Beat the Clock. It's a time-based game, so I actually only played one ball, but ended up with 839,000 on my ball. One drain with no time left, and uh, hoping that holds up here. Uh, only one player remaining to play. Um, like I said, I'm at 860, 863, I guess. Uh, player one just collected a huge bonus, though, putting him up over 400. And Tom it's is clearly dominating. It's on getting a, warm in here. Yeah, that's why I got my winter jacket and my hat on. It's <laughs> thinking the same thing. <laughs> well, I left the ball for uh, Rick there again. Been, been doing a good job setting Rick up. So, Tom, you're supposed to be getting Reactor 9. Um, uh, yeah. Have you done that yet? Uh, no. I think the highest I've gotten is 5. All right, all right. So, so uh, player one's definitely making a run over there on beat the clock. I'm just watching over his shoulder. Oh, he yeah. keeps hitting stuff worth like ten thousands. <laughs> Does he have any time left? That's the question. Well, I ran out of time on ball one. I'm gonna guess no. He has no time left. And he just collected a saucer, and that's gonna put him into the lead there. So Ooh. I ended up second on beat the clock. Okay. <laughs> So what ball are you on here? Uh, this is ball three. All right, player one, ball three, Rick. Yeah, Rick Barron. The Red Baron from the Milwaukee area. So uh, you probably already talked about it earlier in the game, but this is a lock stealing game and the lock stealing is very uh, prevalent. You see it a lot. Yes. Um, currently, he must have played multi-ball in this one because they're flashing blue, which uh, means he's on the relight or uh, get back into the lock phase and uh, not going to be able to collect the ball save. No. He did have it lit, but uh, on the wrong lane there, and that's going to be the end of his game. He ended at about 515,000. So is that currently in first place? I can't quite tell what your score no, is, No, I'm at uh, 832, I believe. Okay. You can also uh, draw with us. By right clicking? So he's, he's going to uh, left click. He's going to go for these locks right here. Left click? Yeah. How do you have that set up? When you're in the full screen? Yeah, you have to be in the full screen to do okay. it. <clears throat> you can do it on a replay, and you can do it on, on this screen, but that's it. That's all I have it set up for. Okay. And oh. that, you said that's set up in a software thing that you got? Or? Yeah. It'd yeah. be interesting if you could send that or show me how you do I'll that. I'll show you how to do it. Because I, I have it set up, but I use paint. So I got a window okay. on my right hand side of the screen. It's actually underneath the chat. Yeah, this is much easier. You yeah. basically download it, and then uh, you, um, you just, there's a thing uh, you set up in uh, OBS. Okay. It's super it's easy. tied straight, straight into OBS then? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah. And I might have a walk off plunge here, it looks like. Go plunge your first place, Tom. Reactor 9's not going to happen, Great Redeemer. Um, plunge off might happen. Here he goes. This is important. Let's see what he does. He short, short plunges it, actually. And starts the multi ball. So that, that's big here. Uh, look, he said he's looking for a uh, plunge off victory. So very important to get into that multi-ball. So uh, in the multi-ball, you got uh, a few things to shoot for. You can get an add a ball by shooting the uh, right in there three times. One, two, three. And uh, that'll get you And then into the scoop for the add a ball. That's also a big jackpot payoff. Uh, Multiball multiplies the value of scores obtained during multiball by the number of balls in play. So three balls in play, three X's flashing. You see that in the middle there. Four X's possible after that add a ball, of course. There's four balls in this game, so. And 
he's going to be back to single ball play here, you can see. So he hit that during multi-ball, uh, that drop target. However many drop targets are down when you end multi-ball, that's how many you have to clear to get back into the locking phase. So by having one down, he basically avoids one shot to the stand-ups that just reject right back down towards the middle. Uh, that was an interesting little kick out there. I didn't see it, but uh, it looked like it almost went straight into the right pop bumper. So dodges the save there, and th for some reason he got that back. I don't know if that was a kick out. That was a uh, that was nice there. Um, good little drain. Let's take a look. I don't know why you got that ball back, to be honest. <laughs> but then this was a, uh, I mean, I don't know what you're doing. I don't, you flipped that when you should have flapped. I, it was. <laughs> yeah, reactor nine was definitely not gonna happen. I can tell you that. But reactor two definitely happened. That's not. I expect you to be a little more positive thinking. Uh, I need to thinking be. like, yeah, I'm going to go for Reactor 9. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Let's see where we're at in the, uh, the tournament. Let's see what's out there. We still have Bride of Pinbot playing. And I see Tim Enders is on it, which uh, having known he owns a Bride of Pinbot, he is, he is probably destroying that thing. Let me see here. Yeah, he's got a 13 million, 13.4 million. Everybody else is at 4 million. And I'm not sure what ball it's on. Nobody's in a billion? No, the billion shot is turned off. What? Yep. I'm not playing that game. <laughs> but the uh, jackpot starts at 8 million. So if you hit it on the left hand side, and the wheel gives you the jackpot, you can get an eight million shot. All right, that's just as good as a billion. It's random though, it's random. Yep. So I'm not sure if that's ball three. Jordan did come over here in disgust because he, he does hate, uh, he does hate Bride of Pinbot. I don't mind it, if it's playing good. Oh, all right, we're switching games. All right, well, I'm gonna go uh, go see what I have to play. Uh, Tom's gonna grab the next game and uh, yeah, we'll be back. More pinball ahead. All right, Luke. <clears throat> We got round seven coming up, right? Yep. So, uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, we do have the mouse working. Fantastic. Uh, do we have? Uh, 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 can we take a look at uh, what we got coming up here? Oh. Uh -oh. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is in uh, full screen. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, so uh, let's go. Go to Firefox and on the second tab. There we go. All right, so uh, you want to look at the standings, or uh, well, let's take a look. So it looks like we're probably going to be watching Indiana Jones here, as we have Tom Graff as uh, player three. Uh, I will be uh, Doctor Who. You're playing three. Doctor Who with me? With you, fantastic. All right. Uh, well, we have uh, <laughs> two of our commentators here uh, on Doctor Who. Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's another game that uh, I've been getting better at, but uh, just isn't isn't my best game. So we'll, we'll see what happens. And I know this is a very difficult Doctor Who. Ball save is basically nothing. Right. There is a couple seconds just because that kick out out of the lock, a lot of times kicks right down the middle. So right. you almost have to have some ball save. Exactly. What are you doing, Tom? I'm going to get the, uh, we're on Indiana Jones. Playing Rick again. Indiana Jones. Uh 
Ooh, pretty. I told Eric that uh, you need to uh, put put white LEDs in all the GI. <laughs> After you streamed Dracula, you streamed uh, you streamed uh, Jurassic Park, and I, I went up to Eric and was like, "Hey, look, this looks really good on stream. It's all white." <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, we're taking a look here at Indiana Jones. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I uh, I played this earlier and uh, did okay at it. Um, you know, it wasn't a it wasn't a runaway game, but uh, at least I think I got to about 150, something like that. So I think the uh, the main thing in Indiana Jones is uh, not going to work. <laughs> um, uh, we have to, uh, so we have to go it? to here. You can you can do it up on on that screen. So if we move oh, the mouse can. to the right here. Uh, so uh, we're, where is our mouse? There we are. It's up there. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, there are a couple things that you can do. Uh, we have the uh, scoop right here, uh, or the, the uh, uh, saucer right there, uh, which will start your modes, uh, which can be very valuable. Uh, but if you are going for a mode strategy, you have to be very careful as your mode points pay out in your bonus. So if you tilt, uh, you are out of luck with that. Uh, each of those, I believe, starts with uh, five million, essentially given, and then uh, you build up. Uh, you build up your your points. Uh, the more shots that you hit, uh, that's usually what I like to do. I, I think that those are a lot of fun, and it's it's especially fun when uh, you know you drain and you're like, well, I'm at 36 million, and then suddenly you get a 120 million point bonus. Yeah. You know, uh, it just you know throws people off their guard a little bit. Uh, your other option is uh, right up here. So we have. Uh, uh, three drop targets there, uh, right above the ENT, and uh, so if you hit those down, then there is another shot that goes right up here, and uh, kind of curves around, and that's your lock shot. So if uh, if we hit that lock shot, then um, then that will uh, build up towards your multi ball. Three of those, and you will you will start your multi ball, and during multi ball, uh, you want to do one of two things. You can either hit the left ramp, uh, which will light your jackpot on the right, and then go for the right ramp. Or you can lock another ball in the same place where you started your multi-ball, and then that will give you a multiplied jackpot up that same right ramp there. So uh, either of those options are very viable. Uh, personally, I like I like going for the uh, I like going for the uh, lock a ball and get the multiplied jackpot uh, because I, I find that shot a little bit easier, especially towards the beginning of the multi-ball. You can generally backhand from the right uh, to at least get those drops down while you still have a ball save going. Yep, for uh, sure. And then uh, that left ramp is a little bit more finicky than uh, than trying to get that lock shot. So uh, you know, plus it's more valuable, obviously. Uh, so those are your, your main two uh, score-getting devices. Uh, right now we have Tom Graff as player three up here after uh, some, some quick balls uh, by Rick and uh, Vale. Uh, I, I, think, I think that's how you pronounce it, Vale. V-A-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> All right, so uh, Tom got his first lock, and then uh, from the kickout, uh, which happens on uh, which happens on the right here. It comes down this little ramp and then goes through a gate uh, and feeds down to your right flipper. Um, <coughs> so from there, he ended up getting it right into that mode shot, uh, which uh, started uh, sealed stones, uh, which is on your path of adventure, I believe. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to hit it up that right ramp, and then uh, there's a diverter that will bring it from this right ramp all the way over here to uh, to start the path of adventure, and uh, this entire uh, this entire path here on the left side uh, tilts left and right, and you want to uh, collect as many of the lights that you see along that path as possible. Uh, in in the middle of that, there are uh, two different two different holes that you can fall through that will end that path of adventure for you. So, uh, you got to be careful. Okay, so uh, see you. I think you're up on Doctor Who, Jordan. Make sure you talk about how good the food is here. So make sure you talk about how good the food is here. I did. I did. I figured I, you I did. did multiple times. All right. So another thing worth noting, um, I believe in multi-ball, so if you collect three jackpots, you light the uh, super jackpot at the captive ball. Very similar rule to, like, uh, fishtails, for example. Three jackpots, and then the captive ball is the uh, super. 
unlimited supers. I think they're roughly worth the same, about $100 million. Um, So that's what he'll be going for here. There's it looks like he collected at least, I believe that was a double jackpot, $60 million, uh, pretty good points there. So now it's left ramp, or uh, in this case, it was a center shot to like the double jackpot, and there it is. Double jackpot, you see the replay crack there. And it uh, looks like I, I'm going to have to go play Doctor Who here. So he's two jackpots in. I believe the next one will light his supers, and that's going to oh, be the end of the multi-ball. All right, so Luke is stepping up here uh, for uh, for his first ball on Doctor Who. We're, we're not watching that, but uh, so he has stepped away from the from the booth here. So uh, at this point, uh, he still has uh, discovering the grail there uh, on the right, and so he just hit his jackpot. Uh, so that was 60 million points, uh, definitely valuable. So uh, <laughs> hardcore pin. Go, Tom, go. FCPL, baby. Indeed, Fox City's Pinball League uh, has been really representing here re recently. Uh, I believe that uh, I believe that in the top eight of the state finals, uh, five of us, if I'm not mistaken, were all part of the Fox City's Pinball League. Uh, it was a very good showing for us. Uh, that, however, was not <laughs> that uh, that center drain there. A little bit of a fumble. Uh, didn't really make much mode progress there, so his uh, so his bonus was uh, only 10 million. Uh, but uh, that's that's not to uh, talk down the rest of his ball here. Uh, so at 241 million, he's got a commanding lead. Uh, we still have Bob Twitchell, who is uh, up at the moment here, playing his ball one as player four. Uh, Bob seems to have been doing well so far in the tournament uh, with 30 points. All right, and ooh, very very nice little nudges there. Uh, just very subtle that uh, that brought it out of that out lane uh, and back into the in lane. So uh, he's trapping up here and uh, looks like he's trying to go for his modes. Uh, there we go. Once again, just very, very nicely done. Uh, no dangers on any of those, and he's just getting exactly what he needs. So uh, you can also make some progress here if you can if you can combo the left and right ramp that you can get into a dogfight mode, uh, which uh, uh, there we go. Very nicely done. Uh, which can uh, which can build up pretty quickly. It's kind of similar to Bogey on uh, on Iron Man. Uh, so with that, he has his first ball locked. Uh, since Tom uh, started his multi ball, there are no balls in the idle at the moment, and uh, because of that, he got to launch from the plunger rather than uh, waiting for the ball to kick out of the uh, out of the idle. Uh, so he's continued to to make progress there towards uh, towards that ramp combo. And there was a nice little uh, nudge in there from the out lane, looks like, into the in lane, which gave him a uh, narrow escape. He gets to continue his ball, and he got a couple million for that. So uh, here uh, he, there we go, very nice. Uh, so he is uh, in his Castle Gruenwald mode, uh, which uh, means that he has to hit the captive ball, which is right up here. So it's a straight shot from the left flipper. Um, all the way up here. And if he can hit that, then that's adding to his, his mode value. So. All right. Uh, so once again, there's another uh, another shot there. Uh, so getting it back into the uh, getting it back into the hole there during a mode um, will give him a small mode bonus. So it just gives him an extra million every time he's doing that. That will add to his payout here in the in the bonus. And we can see that he's got 12 million there just from that one mode. Uh, so if he can stack a couple of modes, well, not stack a couple of modes, but if he can get through a couple of modes um, in a single ball, then uh, then that bonus can really add up there. All right, I will be back. I am up on Doctor Who.
All right, sorry. Sorry, everybody, didn't want to keep you without an announcer here, but uh, I had a lot of questions so from uh, some players, so just talking to them. Yeah, I'm just not talking. Letting the action speak for itself. All right, Luke, no Jordan warning. back in the booth. <laughs> That's Luke. Ah, you gave it away, Tom. Uh, uh, I'm up. I got to go play. All right, Tom's leaving the booth now, so Jordan's back in here. Uh, Tom's up. He's got a lead, 245 million. I saw that uh, on ball one. He uh, put up a couple jackpots. Uh, always good to see. I know he was a little bit, uh, or not too far away from the super on that. Doesn't look like he collected it, or I don't believe he did. But uh, looks like he's got some out points on top of that, putting him uh, well in the lead here. So he just has to worry about player four. Going to extend the lead as much as he can. I was uh, lucky enough on Doctor Who to come away with the victory. I ended up about 200 million. Um, and uh, fortunately did not have to play my ball three. I was player four. Got a jackpot on ball two to kind of secure it. And then uh, Jordan did come in second on that, I believe. So uh, what's Tom going for here? Looks like he's got the mode lit. See if he, uh, he doesn't choose to uh, trap up there. Uh, I believe, if I remember right, I played this earlier. I never really took a shot at it with the backhand, but I think backhanding the mode start is possible, but it looks like he's going straight for multi-ball here. Drop targets are back up. Look to clear those uh, at least enough to put the ball back in the lock and uh, go from there. The lock never gets any harder in uh, this game other than the drop targets come back up. Uh, I believe they stay down after the on the first multi-ball. Similar rule there to fishtails too. The drop target comes up, locks the lock. Sometimes doesn't always. And uh, it looks like it is. Super jackpot is lit. He got the three jackpots on the first multi ball. So straight at it here. Just missed that. It's the uh, captive ball shot. Sorry, I hit the mic with my other arm there. I don't know where the mouse is. Oh, there it is. So the uh, jackpot shot is that captive ball right there. You just saw him hit one. 80 million. 300, 353 is what he ends at there. Uh, definitely not a bad game there. 357 with bonus. 53, so looking for 300 million here. You can do that in modes. You can do that in multi-ball. Let's see uh, what Bob decides to go for here. Uh, haven't been watching this game too closely, so I don't know what he's been shooting for on the first two balls. Looks like he's firing away at that lock shot right in the middle there. Just missed it a couple times, but uh, yeah, just... You got to be clean on that shot. It's very narrow, uh, which it should be. It is a valuable shot. Locks in this game. Getting into that multi-ball is uh, definitely something you want to do. There it is. What is that? Lock number three. And we're in the multi-ball here. So he can definitely hit 300 million if uh, played right. Uh, it all starts with that right ramp for the jackpot. There's the first one. Left ramp to light it or uh, center shot. Double jackpot is lit. Uh, see if he collects a double, just misses it there. Hits the captive ball. There it is, double jackpot. Jordan, Replay cracked, Jordan, over 150 million. Jordan disappear? Yeah, Jordan uh, got really mad after taking second on Doctor Who. <laughs> um, there was the ramp shot for the third jackpot, but it wasn't lit. He got to hit the left ramp first, and that's going to be the end of the multi-ball. So oh. only gets two jackpots out of it, but does pull uh, into second place. So nice. that got him a couple more points. Um, okay, wasn't go. able to catch Tom. I'll be right but back. Bye, Tom. You just got here, though. Uh, whatever. Tom's gone. He went to go uh, confer with his group, make sure they enter in his uh, first place because, you know, he wouldn't want to drop into second place. That wouldn't be a good thing. And uh, in the meantime, he is going to retain that top position. So good game there. Obviously uh, played here on Indiana Jones. A few high scores. I think my group, when I played it earlier today, 100 and – I guess 180 is what won it. I ended up in second with 130-ish as well. So uh, really happy with the games, uh, the way the games are playing here. They're all playing super fun, super fast. 
Uh, nothing set up too easy, but uh, at the same time, they're all they're all playable. I haven't played a game where it's like, oh, that game didn't let me play at all. Everything uh, is playing nice and fair, um, but uh, it will they will punish you if you miss shots. So I think uh, perfect for competition. So it uh, looks like we do have a player that's going to step up here and uh, play Indiana Jones while we're waiting. We just got a few more groups waiting to uh, finish. So uh, we'll commentate on the game and uh, see what she goes for. Looks like starting out with some loops. Yellow shots, always worth points, but uh, again, not the most valuable thing. You want to shoot for modes or multi-ball. That's kind of the two things to shoot for. Jordan, welcome back. <sighs> Thanks. Man, <laughs> man. Uh, I, I, I really wish I could have gotten a full sonic boom on that, <laughs> on that yeah. Doctor Who game. Uh, sure. that did, you, did you get helped. one of them? Or? Uh, so, no, I, I did not. Uh, okay. So uh, I did do a WHO, but uh, it was not with the full multipliers. Yeah, yeah I saw you get the, uh, the six million or whatever it was for who. Yeah, so it helped, but uh, didn't quite get me there. Uh, brought me to second place, and then, of course, there was Luke with his 112 million uh, uh, jackpot that uh, by itself was more than everybody else's score, so. On, on Doctor Who, what, what strategy do you typically go for? Do you play just the loops, uh, go for those sonic booms? Uh, I tend to do that, uh, especially especially in a multiplayer game where there are already balls locked. Okay. Um, I don't like going for that center target to get my virtual lock. Um, okay. Uh, it just It's a dangerous shot. I try and stay away from it. Uh, you know, if I was playing by myself, uh, then it might be a little bit different. Uh, you know, I might occasionally go for multi-ball or something like that, especially if I happen to ricochet up into one. I might fill the other one. For sure. But, uh, but yeah, in multiplayer, if somebody already has one, one ball locked, uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to screw around with that. So the way, the way I like to play it is, of course, the sonic booms on the left side. I'll start with Dr. Six every game. Go for those sonic yep. or uh, loops, build that multiplier up. If the ball is on the left flipper, though, I will take a shot at either lock or the center target. Okay. Knowing that if you hit the center target, it awards the lock and also gives you a short ball save. So if you right. drain right after that, yeah, you get it back. So I guess. Um, and then if I do get two locks and I have my multiplier already built up, I'll switch over to Dr. Seven after that second lock. Sure. And, uh, and uh, get that going so that uh, you get more progress every time you hit that bank. It's yeah. like six shots instead of 15 or something. Yeah. So yep. super valuable if you yep. can do it. All right. So I don't know what game we're going to. Uh, probably switch over here. It looks like he's already got it set up. All right. And, so uh, it looks like we'll be going to Roller Coaster Tycoon. There you go. Uh, we have Joe Stead, Tom Graff, Christopher Hare, and uh, Eric Thorin playing on that. And then, uh, I don't know if you saw there, Hot Hand. Oh, we don't have it on the display, but uh, Hot Hand. Jordan and I are both playing Hot Hand. We got a solid group. Tim Enders and Ryan as well. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Roller Coaster Tycoon is like something. I'll leave. Probably will be knocked out of the top group after this one. It, you're just it, this is just like your underhanded way of uh, of you don't need you know, to be pessimistic pessimistic time you're you're in the lead by a lot I'm not in the lead by a lot now you are like 14 points no, what is it I, yeah I just made that up but <laughs> <laughs> by four points and you're breathing down my wet neck in some uh, strange way and there's some Granger hey guess what we're all playing in the same group and we're playing hot hand yeah so uh, so yeah, uh, let's let's just take a look real quick here at the standings before we start this up. Uh, so in first place we have Tom Graff. Uh, he is leading by four points ahead of uh, Luke Nahorniak here, uh, with 43 points in second place. We have Eric Strangeway, Tim Enders, and Ben Granger, uh, all tied for third place at 41 points. Eric Thorin at sixth with 39. Uh, Chris Hare at uh, 37 points in seventh place, and myself and Bob Twitchell. Uh, at 35 points. So, uh, if we if we want to if we want to uh, you know if if myself or Bob wants to get up there, we we got some we got some uh, some play to do here because we need uh, uh, we're we have a 12 point deficit at this point. Um, but I mean that just that just shows how well Tom's been playing today. Uh, 47 points here after what seven rounds. Uh, yeah, I believe that only missed. He, he only missed first place in one game, I believe. Yeah, he took a second in one game. Otherwise, he's been he's been having a perfect day. So, uh, holy cow, way to go, Tom, so far. Uh, so we'll we'll see what happens here. Uh, now now that uh, we have uh, Joe Stead, Tom Graff, Chris Hay, uh, Chris Hare, and uh, what? Eric Thorin up there. Don't um, dead bombs from left to right. 
Oh. Haha. <laughs> Alright guys, everybody out there watching the stream, if you play 8-Ball Champ here, House Ball Champ as I, I like to know, <laughs> um, don't dead bounce from right to left. All right, uh, if we haven't said it yet, uh, Beer Gut 666, we really appreciate the follow. Uh, thank you so much. All right, uh, let's see. So uh, so you and I are on hot hand, huh? It's hard to see that playthrough. Yeah, once again, uh, look, look, it almost looks like the saturation is just up too high, because I mean, we're, <laughs> uh, yeah, so the, we got the, the reds greens and the, and the greens, reds. Yeah, are definitely, on very uh, Christmas. On GI, I, I like to leave everything as white. Sure. White shows up good on camera. It exactly. looks good when you're playing. Yeah. Um, do, do you? What about LEDs? I mean, so LEDs. I love LEDs. Yeah. But I'd, I'd go to like a cool white LED. GI so it's not always cool you. white. That's yeah, what I use. Exactly. Yeah. So it looks like Tom's up right away here. Player one only had a million. I have no idea what to shoot for, so I'm not going to pretend like I know the game. I've only played it once, and it was at a. Uh, Movie theater and it was completely broken. Oh, so. fantastic! Well, uh, so I, I like that I'm sitting here next to Luke and uh, being able to actually explain a game better than he might be able to. Uh, so <laughs> there, there are a few things that you want to go for on uh, on uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, now this is a Pat Lawler game, and uh, in Pat Lawler fashion, there is uh, no ball save. So uh, one switch and uh, you're done. So it also looks like there's a warp ramp shot to shoot. <laughs> So, uh, well, we, we, have a, we have a couple of things that, that we'd want to go for here. So, first of all, uh, we have uh, the, the lights here that, uh, as we build those up here, uh, then that will, uh, that will build towards your multi-ball. And uh, so that's by hitting those various ramps there. That, that will, those will light your various locks. And then once those locks are lit, then you want to hit it up this left ramp. Uh, which swings around and uh, puts the ball down in the left area, uh, similar to something like uh, Funhouse. Well, I guess okay. Funhouse doesn't do that for locks, but uh, uh, Whirlwind would do that. Uh, so that's that's one thing. And then the other thing is uh, is starting your modes. And so starting your modes, uh, you, you want to send it any way that you can to uh, go back here. There's a drop target right here, and you want to hit it from the back. Okay. Uh, so that's that's the, the maintenance guy, the janitor. All right. Um, so there are a couple shots that you can do that. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there are some drop targets right here that will send the ball up and around into a into a small arc. And then if you do that, uh, once fun is lit, then uh, then that will start your next mode. And so uh, there are multi-ball modes, there are fast scoring modes, there are a lot of uh, a lot of different things that you can do there. Okay. Uh, but the big thing though is going to be your multi-ball. Uh, so if we go for that, uh, once that multi-ball is lit, then uh, then he will have. Uh, uh, you'll have uh, jackpots up each of those ramps, and then eventually, once you've completed enough, then from this upper flipper, uh, there is a shot right up here, uh, which sends it into uh, which sends it into this kind of raised uh, vertical up kicker, uh, and that will be your super jackpot. All right. Uh, so that's the main thing that you'd want to go for here. The big thing is uh, right off the plunge, there is a skill shot that uh, if you short plunge and get it right into this area. Uh, that will give you, I believe, 200,000 points or something along those lines. Do you get uh, uh, multiple attempts at it, or uh, uh, you? So, so if you don't get it down there, or, or if you get it past this ramp, you're up and then you're up. Okay. All right, uh, I gotta go play. <laughs> so, so if you get it past that gate, uh, then there's no going back. Uh, but uh, uh, the the other thing though is that if you get it up and you can actually get it uh, so that it goes far enough that it goes behind the maintenance worker there. Uh, and then uh, hits him in the back, then that can start a mode right off the bat. Uh, so, uh, Jay Grutza, we appreciate your follow. Thank you so much. Uh, we uh, we greatly, greatly appreciate it here as we're uh, as we're building our, our Fox City's pinball community. So, uh, Eric Thorne is up here uh, as our player four. Uh, looks like uh, he is uh, building up. Uh, ooh, okay, there we go. Uh, so it looks like like he's trying to start his mode, um, and that mode shot is, uh, uh, as mentioned, it is uh, hitting that drop target in the back, and uh, so that that loop right there will definitely do it. So from the upper flipper, if we can get it to loop all the way around here, then that will go, and that will hit the handyman right in the back, uh, and that will start it up. So he, he, he started Dunk the Dummy uh, and did not get to do too much with that. Uh, that being said, I will be right back as I'm about to play my first ball in hot hand.
Uh, thank you everybody for the follows. Really appreciate it. We're on ball two of uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon here. And Joe's ball just ended, so I am about to go back and play. So Oscar Keeper, thanks again for the follow. Everybody, thank you. Uh, roller Coaster Tycoon, not my type of game. And it looks like Christopher, it's not his type of game either. <laughs> so uh, Eric Thorne coming up, the owner of Title Town Pinball. And he is currently in second place at 1.6 million. I'm going into ball two here. Oh, nothing. He's got his. Uh, he's got his lock lit. Uh, which is this? Uh, second here. Your kid plays just like you. It's super annoying. He's good. Kid is good. So his lock is lit right here, and you want to shoot it up this ramp and lock it right over here. So. <clears throat> so this mode isn't super valuable in the game, but. There's his first lock. There was a ball already locked in there. That's why it came back to the uh, left flipper. It's trying to hit that lock shot again. There he goes. Now multi-ball is lit right here, and you want to shoot this ramp. And he drained. Um, but that'll be uh, ready for him on ball three. Well, thanks everybody for following, watching here. Uh, Round eight of 13. And I'm going to post the, uh, where you can get the live, if you want to follow at home, you are going to want to go. Here. Go 
Joe's got one ball locked. He's got to, again, get it up that ramp. 3.1 million, nothing to sneeze at there. Currently in the lead. He's got two balls locked. He's got to get it up that right ramp. Almost hit it on the backhand. Missed it a little to the right there. He's got to get control back. Oh, he got it. Nice, uh, nice double flip there. Double flip backhand. All right, shoot lit jackpots. Looks like one is, that center ramp looks like it's lit. Oh. Ah. Uh, we're gonna show, uh, here's Joe here, and uh, I see that double flip go up. Boom, hits the, uh, hits the multi-ball there. All right, I'm up, wish me luck.
All right. So Christopher is up. He's got his lock lit. Oh, power drain on the right-hand side. That's a tough break. So Christopher is going to take last. And Eric Thorne looking to beat 5.8 million points. Super jackpot. He's got the replay, which means he's over six million, so he's got this. Great game by Eric Thorne. Just nice, nice play. So and if you are watching at home, this is the first of two tournaments. Uh, we are we're in round eight right now. We have five more to go, I believe. So we go to round 13, if I'm doing math correctly. And then we have a four strike tournament. So it is going to be a long day. I'm hoping the batteries last on the cameras. We will find out. Uh, but congratulations to Eric Thorne. I'm going to go congratulate him.
All right. Thank you, everybody, for uh, sticking around with us here as we uh, as we are getting ready for uh, the next round, uh, which I believe is round nine. Uh, we are we are closing in on the end here. Uh, so it looks like we are going to Twilight Zone. Uh, so that is with uh, John Zackerman, Tom Graff, Eric Strangeway, and Chris Matt as uh, as our uh, players on that game. Uh, so that should be that should be a lot of fun to watch. Um, bear with me just a moment here. All right, we can see Tom there moving the uh, moving the rig. He just just moved off camera, uh, but uh, it's a really cool rig that he has set up here. Uh, so everything is completely mobile. Everything is wireless. It's just it's a it's a great setup. So very very cool stuff. Um, if you are just joining us, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Jordan Semra coming at you from the Title Town Pinball Double Tournament today. We have a match play that uh, we've been running since 9:30 a.m. Central Time. And uh, once this is done, then we are moving on to a four strike tournament. So we have two tournaments. We're streaming the entire thing. It's super cool. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you have not been to Title Town, definitely check it out. Uh, go to their website, titletownpinball.com, uh, and that will give you a calendar of the events that we have going on here. Uh, seeing as, uh, or th this is not uh, open to the public generally, uh, unless there is a tournament or a special event going on here. Uh, it is not, uh, you know, a, a daily uh, coin drop type establishment. Uh, so, yeah, for any of the uh, special events that are going on, there is generally an entry fee, usually about 30, 35 bucks, something like that. And from there, uh, the, uh, uh, all of the games are on free play. We generally have snacks available, uh, a couple of drinks and stuff like that. So uh, definitely come in and check us out. Uh, it's a lot of fun here. Uh, so... We will uh, take a look here at um, uh, we're taking a look here at Twilight Zone as uh, we have our first player coming up here. Bear with me as uh, we change this information over. All right, so uh, player one here. We have John Zackerman up. Uh, there are a few. Uh, sorry, just a moment. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. All right, I am actually up on my game on Iron Maiden. Uh, I will be back here after my first ball. Here, I can take it. That was not the ball one that I wanted on Iron Maiden, but uh, oh well. At least I started one mode, and hopefully I can get to Hallowed Be Thy Name and combo in uh, Mummy Multi Ball. All right, so we have Tom Graff up here. Uh, he is player two on uh, on. Uh, ooh, look at this. Uh, he's player two on uh, Twilight Zone. Uh, he is in Powerball Mania at the moment, uh, and uh, that can be worth a lot of money here or a lot of points. Uh, so uh, up in that uh, that power play field uh, where you see the ball uh, flailing around wildly, uh, there are magnets up there underneath uh, each of those circles. And uh, so uh, uh, if he can, uh, as he hits the flippers, those magnets activate and deactivate. If he can get uh, uh, during multi-ball, if he can uh, get it up through the hole that's right at the very top of that, uh, then that will give him the jackpot. 
Uh, looks like that's already happened uh, at one point here, so that gave him a few uh, uh, gave him a few uh, points there. Also, uh, uh, I'm a little I've fallen a little bit behind with our thank yous. So thank you so much to uh, Sorries and Oscar Keeper for uh, for your subscriptions or for your follows. Uh, we really really appreciate it. Um, keep up on all things happening here in the Fox Cities Pinball League and uh, other events surrounding that. So uh, we have joining us on stream our resident state champion. Oh, God. <laughs> You're not going to live me. that down. I uh, won't. Resident state champion uh, uh, Chris Matt. Uh, a lucky son of a bitch You're a jerk. Time. You're a dick. <laughs> so uh, uh, it was a pretty pretty great uh, ball one there for Tom. Uh, so he had 90 million during his uh, Powerball Mania. Uh, oh, and Chris is, Chris is running away. We scared him away. Uh, Terrible play. So, yeah, uh, just over $100 million in your uh, bonus, which uh, is nothing to sneeze at by any means. Yeah, I was lucky I got uh, set up with the uh, Powerball right on the shooter lane. Oh, okay. So so you got to plunge the Powerball, huh? Yep. Interesting. All and right. I plunged it and hit it right into that gumball machine. All right. So <laughs> at this point, uh, we, we can kind of see it uh, up in the uh, – uh, up you gotta in the top be, there. There, oh. you gotta be in the. Oh, uh, we can just draw on that screen. Oh, you can. Yep. Oh. Yeah. I so, didn't even know that. Yeah. So uh, we can see up in the gumball machine uh, that we have a little bit. Uh, you see the white right down there, and that's where the Powerball is. Uh, the Powerball is a ceramic ball. Ceramic, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, so then that does not interact with magnets at all. It's also a little bit lighter and uh, moves very fast on the on the, the play field. So if you end up getting that ball, uh, you want to serve that ball right up uh, this right lane here. And if it makes it all the way back around to the gumball machine up there, uh, then that will get you into Powerball Mania, which is a, a, a multi-ball mode uh, that we just saw Tom play in his ball one. Uh, so uh, we have... All right, we have a three-way combo right into a mode start in the piano, which is great. Uh, so Eric is looking at clock millions. Uh, so for clock millions, all that, uh, the thing that gets you points is uh, this shot right in between those two uh, ramps there. Uh, it's a dangerous shot, uh, but, uh, you know, it can, it can build up over time for sure. So, uh, Mr. Right. Mr. Tony, too, thanks, thanks for the uh, compliment. Appreciate it. Um, so, all right, so he's got his, his uh, first lock here. Uh, now, he can either cash in uh, using that left ramp into, uh, into multi-ball, or if he waits, oh, no, he got it. If he had waited until he had locked a second ball and then started his multi-ball, then, the, uh, then the jackpot values would be much higher. Now, since he started it with only locking one ball, uh, he only has a 15 million point jackpot to start with. Uh, he can build that up, but uh, uh, it would take quite a while. And uh, Turbo, Turbo Graphics, we really, really appreciate the bits. Thank you so much uh, for your support. Greatly appreciate it. All right. So uh, the, the nice thing is that uh, he is in multiball while he has clock millions going. Uh, so uh, just the, the flailing there ended up getting him about 50 million there in the clock. Uh, so he should, have, uh, should, he, he should have some points coming in here to the bonus. So there's 50 million for that. Yeah, so 121 uh, puts him puts him within striking range there of Tom. So that was a that was a good start for Eric Thorin, or sorry, Eric Strangeway. Uh, we have Chris Matt up here uh, as our player four. Um, all right, that's a quick drain, but uh, since it's ball one, he's got the long uh, the long uh, ball save. Thorin has the uh, has a ball save on, which usually isn't on. Um, so, so it looks like they, they get shorter and shorter as time goes on. Oh, so, it does? Uh, your second ball is a little bit shorter, and your third ball is extremely short. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's why you'll that's see. That's usually how my balls are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, you'll see a lot of people not trying to go for the skill shot because they'd rather have the clean feed uh, from, well, relatively clean feed from the, uh, from the slot machine rather than getting this shot, the rocket shot that sends it over into the pop bumpers and... Uh, loves to go down the uh, the left out lane. Now, excuse me for a moment. I will play my ball in Iron Maiden and be right back. Have fun. Thank you. All right. So Chris has got ball one locked. So on this game, uh, what you want to do 
is you want to hit, hit both of these ramps and that'll light your gumball machine and it'll also light your lock. And he's got gumball is lit. Uh, so he's got two gumball machines lit. Uh, and the Powerball is somewhere in the gumball machine. Now he, he's starting multi-ball here. Iron Maiden is supposed to have longer ball times than that, uh, but <laughs> I've, I've, had, I've had two terrible balls. I think I'm at four million after two balls. You're probably used to the one at player two. Uh, no, honestly, I, I don't. I think that I played one game of that on Thursday. Oh, okay. uh, otherwise, it's been a while. It just Iron Maiden is such a wildly inconsistent game for me. I really, really love the game. Uh, it's very well set up, a lot of fun. But so uh, right now, you are watching Chris Mad, who is uh, Wisconsin State Pinball Champion. On uh, NH Polar Bear, thanks for the uh, follow. Yes, is we. It, we is that uh, New Hampshire Polar Bear? That, that's that's what I was wondering as well because uh, <laughs> I, I I saw NH Polar Bear pop up in the stream or in the chat uh, earlier, so uh, I don't know. You'll have to let us know. But thank you so much. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, and yes, we we love working with the Telestrator. Uh, you know, it's it's still it's still a little bit interesting because we have to just use the mouse for it rather than drawing directly on a screen or something. But uh, it is it is definitely helpful uh, when explaining some game rules. So. Uh, yes, it is New Hampshire Polar Bear. Oh, cool. All right, fantastic. All right, uh, so. Chris just Chris got the replay. Got his and replay, and Powerball, Powerball is coming out of the slot machine. This uh, could be oh, a big he flips payoff. it away. Interesting. So, goes to the town square. Uh, all right, starts a mode. Battle the power, which doesn't really help him with the. Oh, wow. Doesn't really help him with the, uh, the Powerball in play. Uh, ooh, let's see if we can get some control here, get it to the left flipper and up that right orbit. And that will start his Powerball Mania. There's a dead pass, perfect. Oh, all right, oh. breathe, breathe, Chris. All right, there we go. <laughs> all right, here we go. Boom, oh, oh off wow. the post. This was my problem Tuesday oh. night in league. Uh, oh, he could have dead pass there. That would have been a perfect feed to that left flipper. All right. Yeah, he's, he's trying to force it right now. Yeah, I, I think he's getting in his Which, own head a little bit because he's missed a shot a few times. And uh, even state champions can be taken down just by their own head. So, All right, there we go. Nice drop. And, well, he's the in scoop. the slot machine. That'll start fast, fast lock. lock. Which I would go for. Uh, I would still go not go for fast lock here. Correct, yeah. The, the, the objectively right move. Uh, correct move is to uh, go for the uh, uh, Powerball payoff there. Because, um, I mean, oh, oh. no. Okay, so, so uh, that, depending, that could leave a ball for you, then. That could leave your Powerball. <laughs> Jonathan's got a big smile on his face. <laughs> I'm like out of my league right now. So I'm like, I'm step up and change just to save myself in the merits. <laughs> So right. I don't think Jonathan does he have the Powerball? It looks no, does, he does not, not look at like no. It. So I think that that's going to be waiting for you when you step up to well, your ball, unless, unless there are he locks. locks or, unless he locks yeah. a ball. So yeah, I I'll, will gladly take a Powerball <laughs> today for a hamburger you know, Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Uh, okay, oh, he's still got the ball save. Yep. That's, that's perfectly fine. On. So this will go All around right, to that upper left power. flipper. Uh, no. Nope, not quite. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, if I were him, I would uh, I would go for my ramps to uh, yes, to build up a couple of ball. robots and then yeah hit that hit that lock uh, just so that you can get that power ball in play. Plus, Take Eric that. Eric's gonna be pissed at me if I oh, get the power no. ball here. And uh, looks like looks like you probably will because we've gone through two balls in the trough there uh, since that power ball drained. And there it is. There it is, Tom stepping up to another power ball right in the plunger lane. Uh, so uh, his power ball payoff will be once again the, uh, the right orbit. And there it is. So there's his payoff. Uh, he gets right into power ball mania, uh, which is, as we had mentioned before, a very valuable, uh, potentially valuable uh, multi ball. So in power ball mania, uh, he wants to shoot it up this ramp, which will swing it around exactly like you see there and then we have 
a hole right up here that he wants to get it in. Uh, these two down here are magnets. And so as he hits the left and right flipper, uh, those will activate and deactivate. Uh, and so if he can use that to get up to the uh, to that hole up top, then uh, that will uh, give him his jackpot. Uh, all right, and uh, looks like he didn't he didn't get that to pay off. Uh, he's, he's still got uh, 20 million uh, just from random hits up there, uh, but did not actually get a uh, did not actually get any jackpots during that. So, all right, and right into a lock. Very, very nice. Uh, considering that feed, the, the feed is generally pretty nice. It's not going to go right down the center uh, from, oh, wow, wow, barely hit that. Uh, so for those who don't know, uh, it's a little bit hard to see here, but we do have uh, the lock shot is right up here. And uh, there is a small ramp that, uh, that happens right here before you can get in there. Uh, and so quite often you'll go up there, uh, you'll get it to that ramp, and uh, it will just reject right back to you. Uh, so Tom uh, is back with us uh, after after that drain. Uh, yeah, you got not two a good, locks. Not a good Powerball mania. That's but. fine. Uh, th uh, honestly, like the biggest reason that I would want the Powerball, I mean, sure, I want the points, but the biggest reason is to keep it away from other people. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, so being able to play that that uh, Powerball, even if you didn't really get it to pay out all that well. And Eric's, so I good. will say, Eric Strangeway is very dangerous on this game. Why is that? Because he's very good at it. Uh, oh, just in general? In okay. general, yes. Um, all right. So uh, we got Strangeway up here in the power. Uh, he's bobbling that around here and doesn't doesn't quite get the uh, the doubler. So when you get it up to the oh. power, oh, when you get it up to the power uh, outside of Powerball Mania, uh, you'll get points for each switch that you hit up there. It's 500 or 750k, and that will build up over time. And then if you get it through that hole at the top, uh, then that will double whatever your value is. So uh, even if you don't hit anything, it could be a cool, uh, you know, seven, eight, nine million points or something along those lines. But then if you actually get it through that upper hole, like we see here, this will go for 15 million points. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, nothing to sneeze at. It's definitely valuable uh, to go for that. So at this point, Chris has his lock lit. Uh, as mentioned, oh, Ooh. up up in that, that top right corner. Uh, so hitting that lock would uh, would be very valuable for him here going into uh, ball three. He and Tom are neck and neck, uh, two million points separating the two of them. Less than that, about 1.5 million separating uh, Tom versus uh, Chris. Oh wow! He's got uh, the ball save. So he does he does have the ball save, and it, that ball save actually lasted it, quite it's a while. Almost, even it's ball almost three. like the right flipper isn't strong enough to hit that ramp. The uh, the left ramp. Yeah. I, uh, unless it was just how he hit it. All right, I'm and up. And with that, uh, John is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh. this chair just completely just fell apart. Perfectly fine. Yeah, this this chair just completely collapsed on me as I tried to move out of the way for Tom. <laughs> All right. Whew. All right. A after that, well, that's why I'm taking this other chair. Oh my gosh. Well, after after that excitement, uh, we cool down here and let's uh, let's see what Tom has to do here on his third ball. So uh, he he wants to get some distance between him and Chris. Uh, that that 1.5 million is uh, such a small margin of error that uh, you know we we. Uh, uh, Okay, there we go. Uh, you know, he, he wants to widen that gap here because uh, very easy to come back from that, that small amount considering these scores. So 3x down square, almost 25 million. That's very good here. 10 hitchhikers would be fantastic as well for that next camera award. Ooh, nice bobble, but uh, there's that left out lane. All right. Uh, so we have Eric Strangeway coming up here, uh, currently with 42 points total for the tournament. Uh, all right, 163 million. Uh, <laughs> so he's got uh, about 90 million to uh, to overcome. Yeah, this is trouble. Uh, that's 80 million now after the uh, skill shot. Uh, so let's see if we can get under control and see what he goes for. So it looks like he's going for the power. Uh, ooh, that was a, that was a quick power field. 
uh, for 5.5 million. Uh, it's got the gumball Ooh. lid. Might as well put it in there and just get the uh, get That's the points point. for the, the gumball, even if oh. oh, even if he was not gonna uh, get to Powerball Mania. Uh, 25 million, I think you would get for going up there. All right, so uh, we have about uh, 35 million that uh, that uh. needs to be made up here on. Uh, Chris's ball three. Well, if this is like the uh, state championship, Chris will win this. <laughs> if it's like the state championship, Chris will win the entire tournament. <laughs> True. He will come back to win it. All right. Oh, oh and that'll do it. So bonus. All right. Yeah, no, not quite. Not quite. So uh, six million in bonus will still keep him in second place. The very good game for all four players. All right. Uh, I will be uh, heading out here as I'm going to uh, play my ball on Iron Man or Iron Maiden. everybody so I barely barely and I mean barely got through that so these are the current points right now we're gonna uh, There's still some uh, there's still some matches out there. So still some matches going on. Uh, Iron Maiden, Shadow. Uh, let's look at the standings currently. So currently I'm on top of Ben. I believe Ben and Eric are still playing. Those are what those dots mean. Uh, also Tim and Luke. So uh, still anybody's tournament right now. We are currently, this is uh, round nine, so we got four more to go, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Uh, kind of move down the list here. Again, just waiting for everything to kind of finish up here. We got the uh, IFPA banner overhead. And uh, this is uh, what you're seeing over here is just half of T Title Town. Uh, 
pretty amazing place. Just, uh, just uh, awesome. What, uh, what's going on here? It's amazing. Uh, well, once I know the next game, we'll we'll get to it here. I'm gonna go get some water because I'm a little parched. And uh, should be uh, pretty shortly getting to the uh, to the next game, next round. So, thank you. All right, everybody, so just a little update. I went over by Iron Maiden. Uh, they're on ball three. So uh, currently, uh, I'll give you the scores. Uh, Jordan Jordan is player one. He just finished, um, he just finished at uh, 115,000,000.9. So he is currently in second place. Uh, Andy Caston is at 265 million in first place, and he's he's on his third ball right now. Uh, Tim Enders is at 64.9 million, and Ben Granger is at 38 million. So I'll I'll keep you posted. Caston finished at 267 million. Uh, Tim Enders finished at 72 million, and Ben Granger is up right now on ball three.
So Ben uh, Ben came in second there. So it was uh, uh, Andy, Ben, uh, Tim, and uh, Andy, Ben, Tim, and Jordan on uh, on the game. I'm gonna go switch cameras here. Terrible showing by myself. Sorry about that. 
So Chris Matt is up. And uh, this is a uh, this is a custom ROM uh, that recently came out a couple years ago, which makes the uh, game a little harder. Uh, you, you have to repeatedly hit the Death Star. Uh, it doesn't start in the middle. I think that's how the other game, or the, uh, the early ROM was. Uh, also, uh, ramps aren't as valuable. Uh, this game used to be ramp, 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 all day long. And now it uh, only gives about a million points for hitting a couple of ramps. So used to build up quite a bit. So Max here, player out of Milwaukee, very good. So it's one of the harder Star Wars games I've played. Nice little backhand, uses the force. Well, you wanna keep hitting the uh, Death Star until the, death, the target underneath the Death Star goes down. Uh, and you are able to start multi-ball. At this point, there's a lever on the game. You can lower it and push the button, and it'll uh, bring that target down for a few seconds so you can try to hit it and start multi-ball. Uh, so this game is uh, pretty heavily dependent on the multi-ball uh, to have a good score. Uh, I believe Tim Enders is the grand champ on this particular game, so I'm expecting him to have a good game. So four million right off the bat on the skill shot. And a nice trap up there. He's going for the, uh, for the, um, <laughs> the Death Star. Sorry, sorry, somebody's just sat next to me. So now if Tim hits the shot through the pop bumpers around the game, that'll relight the kickback. And Tim was not happy about that. So I'm back up. So fun group to play in right now. Everybody's pretty good friends. All right, Chris gets the freeze. That's something the uh, the code adds some anti animations, and he is not getting that back. So that's a tough break for Chris. So two former state champions and the current and the current state champion are 
in here. Do you have the trigger multi-ball start disabled? No, I, I believe it. you can start it. So he could start it at this point if he so chooses. But again, if you don't hit if you don't hit the shot in a certain amount of time, which I believe is like five, maybe 10 seconds, uh, you have to start all over. So it's pretty risky. Uh, something I would do probably if I was on ball three and I had not hit it down yet. Uh, I have mine down, Max just got his down. So, and, and uh, Tim's pretty close here. And uh, six million skill shot, nice. So, and that's what I'm talking about. Uh, you hit, shoot three ramps for a million points, not very valuable in this game. Oh, well, Tim's trying to get into the Death Star. And he's got it down. He's got to get control here. Lights one of C3PO's eyes. There he goes, nice shot. Blow up a planet here. So you want to hit the Dead Star and then hit a ramp. So he got, just got the Death Star and his ramp. And now uh, under the Death Star will open for a brief period of time for a double jackpot. Seven, six, five, four. And target's gonna go back up. So he's still in multi-ball. He's gotta hit the Death Star a couple of times again to start the sequence. Oh. Oh. All right. I'm back up. Wish me luck. a good showing there. 
Chris gets eight million off the skill shot, wow. Not a good game for Chris. Well, Max is up. He does have his multi-ball ready to go like I did. Hopefully he can do a better job than I did on uh, <laughs> getting some jackpots. There we go. Good shot. So again, you want to hit the Death Star target and then put it up the ramp. A little early. All right, he's got multi ball lit. Should have a relight here, which you just nailed. Nice. Oh, I thought he had it. What happened there? We're gonna have to save that and look at it. So let's see what happened. So he went to shoot it, and the ball must have just sat on the lip there, and, oh, and it came back down. That's tough. So Tim Enders gets the walk off and the win. All right, so a couple matches still going on here. We got F-14 Tomcat, Dolly Parton. Papa card still going. That's gotta be over with. I don't see anybody on that. Must have just finished up. As of right now, current standings. Matt 64, Eric Thorne with 54. Ben Granger's at 53, but he's still playing right now. And uh, going down the list here, so. Still a couple more rounds to go. Well, I grand champ Dolly Parton. You grand champ Dolly Parton? <laughs> Wow. 
Wow. Holy man. All right. Yeah, it's been a crazy day. Chris, Matt. <laughs> Chris, Matt just gave me the finger. Yeah, so Eric Strangeway just grand champ Dolly Parton. What was the score, Eric? What was the score? What was your high score? 804. 804? Wow, 804,000. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of, kind of like uh, Harlem a little bit. It's kind of like Harlem a little bit. Just, just a little different layout, but... No. Yeah, I played it earlier, same thing. Yeah, Death Star rejected. So we'll play that replay again. So here was here was Max's uh, restart on the multi ball. He gets it stuck right on the target and it drains. No, ter just a tough, tough, very tough. So I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna be changing games soon here. So I'm gonna go to that screen and, yep, there's the buzzer. I need some attention. <laughs>
right. All right. I finally get to actually play you. This is the first time that we played together uh, that today. Mean, that means we're both doing well. Well, it means that you're doing really well and I'm doing okay well because, oh. uh, you know, Swiss tiered. That's true. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think you are 16 points ahead of me. <laughs> so oh. I, I've got a bit of a deficit. We got – this is uh, round 11, so two more rounds after this. Tim Enders on uh, getaway. Just so happens to be right behind us. <laughs> All right. So. So getaway. Red line multi-ball, multi-ball. Right. I don't know why he's not shifting. Just being patient about it. Well, I mean, like, he's got it up there in the supercharger. All right, so uh, a couple things, a couple things that you'd want to uh, to do here. Uh, so first of all, uh, we see these lights here, here, and here. Uh, we have uh, green, yellow, red, and uh, those are just what like a stoplight. I never put that together. <laughs> no. uh, so, <laughs> uh, so those are those are the uh, yeah. banks that you would need to hit in order to uh, qualify your multi ball. So, uh, so you get your green and your first lock is lit uh get yellow and your second lock is lit red and your multi-ball i bet you it's red. five million <laughs> uh so we we do have this on term tournament setting so that's how that's how he was able to predict the quote-unquote <laughs> mystery shot um so uh yeah so once uh once you qualify a lock you can either lock by going up this left orbit or by using this uh flipper to go all the way around and then that will lock uh, along this left side in the donut shop in the donut shop so uh, those are uh, those are your lock shots uh, and that's that's how you progress to multi-ball once oh. you get to multi-ball uh, I'm up all right Tom is up I will continue explaining for his uh, 30 second ball <laughs> um, oh wow these scores are so close 13 170 to 13 163 uh, okay so then uh, once you uh, are in multi-ball you want to send one up here into the supercharger, and uh, then that will light your jackpot. And the jackpot is lit under uh, up in this same shot here. So getting that uh, getting that jackpot is very valuable. A um, uh, couple other things that you can go for. Uh, so uh, well, I guess the the main other thing that you would want to go for is uh, red line mania. So uh, you see the red shots uh, lit on both of the orbits. And that means that it will increase your RPM. Your RPM is indicated by the giant circle in the middle. Uh, it's supposed to be like uh, uh, like in a car. Uh, it will show you your RPM. And once you get to this area here, these are all red lights. Uh, then you want to pull down on the plunger again, and it's like you're shifting to your next gear. Uh, once you've completed all your gears, then that will start red line mania. And uh, red line mania means that every shot on the play field is worth five million points, and uh, that can that can add up very quickly. Uh, so yeah, uh, you see here that he just made an orbit, so then that is increasing his RPM. Uh, and there, it's a little bit more. And every uh, every gear that you have to go through requires a little bit more, uh, a little bit more in order to find the next one. All right, so at uh, 20 some million here, uh, 23, 26 million, uh, then he's in a good spot here going into ball two. All right, so Jordan's up. Oh, Tim Enders is going to join me on the broadcast here. Tim Enders, Tom from, Graff from Madison, Wisconsin. Tom Graff from Appleton, Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, oh, looks like I'm up again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. See you later. Uh, Short-lived ball. I saw that Tim Enders sat down to start commentating, and I thought I should end my ball quickly to get him out of the booth. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't want to hear what that guy has to say. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Tim going into his ball two here uh, has uh, his locks lit, and as mentioned, that can be either that uh, that little loop off of the upper flipper uh, or uh, the left orbit uh, will also get him there. 
Yes. So uh, now on this left or this right flipper, he's going for his. Uh, there it is. Uh, that lock shot. Nice shot. So very nicely done. So he's got to, and he's got another lock lit. He's got to hit one more of those red targets for for uh, to light all three locks. So is, is there any other way to uh, to light those targets, or is it only I by I believe hitting them? the scoop will award you one. Oh, the uh, okay, yeah, that would make sense because I have seen that where I've hit the. Uh, the uh, saucer. Don't, don't quote me on it, but I believe so. If we can right. see 10 and there it is. So he, he just hit it naturally. Oh! And got no dangers for that. Wow, that was amazing. Tim is good at the slide save. Yeah, apparently. He, he's, <laughs> he's good at uh, stealthily taking out the tilt bob before his ball. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, nice! And once again, no dangers for that. So, uh, so we, we need to learn. All right. Oh, did, didn't did quite not, make it. Yeah. So uh, when you're going up this left orbit, uh, right here is a ramp that leads up to the actual lock area. So it's not uncommon to uh, see somebody uh, get halfway up there and then have it reject back through the same uh, the same shot that they just made, uh, or generally, I guess, the left orbit, uh, depending on uh, how hard they, they hit it. Um, Another another valuable mode in here that uh, I really like to go for, uh, not because it's particularly fun, but because the video it's, it's mode? easy. And yes, it is the video <laughs> mode. So uh, during the video mode, um, you Stay can. Stay in the middle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, during the video mode, uh, you want to, uh, uh, you can shift up and down so that your speed will be uh, uh, higher or lower. So I like to go right to sixth gear uh, and, uh, or fifth gear, I don't know, the, the top gear. Um, so Tim just started multi-ball, it looks like. Yep, there it is. Uh, I, I like to go to the top gear, though, and uh, then I just ride uh, essentially right in between two lanes, and then you just have to dodge cars as you're going down the street. Uh, so looks like he did. Uh, he's got <laughs> two balls up there in, the, uh, uh, in that supercharger. So his jackpot is now lit on that uh, inner lane from the upper flipper. Um, so unlike the lock shot, you cannot hit this from the left orbit. It needs Actually, to be. Actually, I believe you can. Oh, can you? It's okay. not lit, but I believe you can. I did not know that. Do not quote me on that, I but he just hit it for a jackpot. All so. right. Well, all right. <laughs> so we can quote you on that. Yes. I I was almost positive I've done that before. Now, that might be something with this game, but I don't think it is. You know, now now that you're saying it, maybe maybe you're right. Uh, well, I mean, now that we saw it, <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, now now that I think about it, you're right. Uh, it's just that it it's makes not sense because they so. both feed into the right same place. All right, so well, here's that video mode, and it looks like he's not shifting up to six gear right away. Uh, he is kind of going up there, but we can see. So what it does you're work do. on any getaway. Okay. All right. Thanks for. <laughs> Tim Enders plays all over the road there. Uh, so if you if you bring it right up to uh, the top gear there right away, uh, you usually get right around 23 million for completing it. Uh, he got 11 million for uh, how far he got and for his top speed bonus. Uh, and Tim's going to have a pretty big bonus. He's got 6x lit. Oh. oh. Well, we can see what it is now. So uh, it should be right around 7 million. There yep. we go. And does he have bonus hold? Yep. Yes, he does. So that'll be a nice hold over there for uh, ball three. All right, we have Bob coming up here. Uh, he does not have his locks lit like Tim did uh, going into his ball. But, uh, did no, you know Bob spelled backwards is Bob? This is why we have you on the stream <laughs> for this wonderful commentary. I, w I, was, I was told by that <laughs> from somebody I used to work with, and I, I thought that was always hilarious. <laughs> I, I used to think it was, I was cool. Like, I, you I don't say. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, all right, I'm up. All right, that that is the danger of the uh, of the supercharger shot, which is that left ramp. Uh, what we just saw him shoot for is that the reject, uh, depending on how it bobbles out of there, can uh, can give you a tough feed. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Frisbees. No, there is uh, there is uh, only the results after the match play. There is no uh, finals round or anything like that. So. Uh, once this is done, then this is done. Uh, we're still at 100% TGP, so uh, 
Uh, you know, we, we get all the points, uh, even without finals. Uh, but uh, that being said, right after this, we do have our four-strike tournament, uh, which uh, will be happening. I believe that that's going to be a four-player four-strike tournament. So uh, games where we have four players playing and the bottom two will get strike, the top two will not. So it's nice uh, not having the, uh, ooh, all right. Uh, let's let's stop this here, uh, or let's let's stop what I was saying so we can talk about this. Uh, so he wants to hit that supercharger, uh, but all shots right now are worth five million points. Uh, so anything that he hits is valuable. He's got plenty of time here. Uh, see if he can get the ball under control and get at least one or two more shots. Uh, all right. Now it looks like oh okay. So there's one last five million point shot. Uh, for that mode. All right. Well, that was a good ball. Got him to 8x. Uh, so that'll be 8 million points. 8.6 million. And uh, he does not have bonus hold. All right. <laughs> Tim Enders joining us again on the booth. Tom staying right on my tag. <laughs> Gonna be tough for anyone to reach Tom. Then. Tom's Cheers. a tough player, but he's also my partner right now, so I can't. I gotta be nice. To him. Uh, I am totally straight. <laughs> Just not that there's anything wrong with that. Partner in. I do have a wife. True. <laughs> <laughs> We're just kidding, of course. Tim and, Tim and I get goofy sometimes. We so do. Sorry. Oh. Ooh. I might be after Jordan here. So. Yep. Thanks. So Tim is up ball three. Got a got a good lead. Wants to build on that lead. He is getting uh, very close to red line. Yeah, at this point, uh, I think Tom is pretty secure in his first place at the uh, given given his score. Uh, I, he's sitting right next to me and, you know, obviously on stream here. So uh, I'm going to make him I'm, nice and uncomfortable when I tell I, him that he's been playing a great, great bunch you. of games today. Thank you. I'm not going to let that get in my head. I'm going to keep uh, playing tough here. Nah, you can get a couple ones. You're fine. <laughs> just, uh, just, I don't know. Find a way to tilt through my ball. All right. <laughs> so he's got a right. supercharger going here. Yep. And what, uh, what gets you to supercharger? Uh, it's the fifth gear, I believe. Uh, then what's Redline Mania? Fifth gear. What? Is it? The very last one, yeah. Okay, so it's Supercharger so five is gears. five or. Okay, so Supercharger is fifth gear. Uh, and then No, Red Supercharger is fourth gear. Oh, okay. Redline Mania is fifth gear. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. But you still have to shoot the, uh, the actual left ramp to, uh, or, you know, the the one that goes into the charger to do Redline Mania. Sure. All right, so there's fifth gear. Five million. Here's another video mode. What happens after round 14? Well, we start a new tournament. We start a four strike tournament. So. Uh, oh my gosh. Don't, uh, don't tune out when we're all done because it's like we're uh, every everybody goes oh. to zero and then we play strikes. All right, so that was a good, good game, game by there Tim. For Tim. Very good game. Definitely got a good solid bonus there. Yeah, 20, 20, 128 million. Yeah. Tough to beat. Yep. So uh, yeah, Tom Tom's doing well here, but uh, still needs over fifty million to uh, catch up to, to Tim. You are correct, sir. All right, so we have Bob coming up here. Uh, he and I are neck and neck, so. <laughs> so. Bob's checking, making sure his glasses are working. Yep. All right. Uh, so it seems it seems like he he tends to do pretty well with that uh, upper loop there from the, uh, from uh, the skill the, shot. Uh, yeah. So after the skill shot, he usually tends to get one or two uh, loops. Oh. oh. All right. All I'm right. Up. So 445. So yeah, so 800,000 800, there. Uh, not not the bonus that he wanted to see. 
Uh, I believe that I have bonus hold here, uh, but my base bonus is not all that great here. So I think if I don't tilt, I should be fine. We have Tom stepping up here for his ball three. Uh, he has not done his multi-ball at this point. Uh, so he wants to, there, okay, there we go. All right, so here is uh, his second lock, because uh, that's what happens in front of the Donut Haven, or Donut Heaven. Uh, so at this point, he just has the red shot. Ooh, wow, he just has the red shot uh, up at the top there to uh, light his third lock. He's got video mode. He's not very good at video mode. Self, uh, he admits that himself. Uh, he's driving quite drunkenly at this point. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he would hope for, for more than $7 million there. Um, all right, but with that, that does light his last lock. He'll probably post-transfer here to the right. Uh, oh, he decides not to. He's trying to put it up to the, oh, run the red lights. Yeah. Uh, so he's trying to, seems to be, oh, a backhand's not going to work, Tom. Uh, so he's trying to put it up there to the upper flipper because maybe he's having better success there. All right, so there starts his multi-ball. Uh, as mentioned, at this point, he needs to hit the supercharger to light his jackpot, and then uh, he will collect his jackpot with the upper loop or the left orbit. All right, so there's the shot up to the supercharger. Uh, he cannot collect it until it's done all the loops that it needs. There it is, jackpot is lit. And there is a shot that does not make it around because of that other ball launching. Oh, wow. Oh, Tom, you needed that. Uh, does not quite make it. Wow. Uh, all right. All right. That should get it. There's his jackpot. And that is $25 million. Uh, So that is half of the total score that he needed to catch up to Tim. Uh in this ball so he's got a five million helicopter bonus 129 he is solidly in first place at this point uh unless by some crazy reason i were to be able to come back uh i'll see what i can do but uh all right okay uh, nice little tips up here but man those are those are interesting to watch so uh, so now he is going for a supercharger here that's lit, and that's why the lights are going absolutely wild. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get it under control, Tom. All right. So he's going to post pass from the left to the right. Uh, well, that kind of worked, the sling pass. Uh, all right. And there it is. There's Red Line Mania. Uh, so he's up in the supercharger there. Freeway at 5 million. All targets, 500,000. Kickback is lit. Jackpot is lit. Super jackpot at 100 million points. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that is that is his main goal right now is to collect that jackpot in the left orbit uh, or in that mini orbit from the upper flipper. All right. Uh, it seems like when you're about to line up the perfect shot for what you need, then that's when that's when another ball just gets in the way. I would go for that jackpot right now, but uh, he's trapped up there. Okay, there is a jackpot. So there is 25 million. Uh, okay, so his kickback was still lit. Uh, now he wants that super jackpot. Uh, got one ball up there in the uh, in the supercharger. Needs one more shot up there, uh, and that should give him enough loops to light the super jackpot. Ooh, okay. All right, so if he can trap up here and grab some control on that right flipper, then uh, that's exactly where he needs to be. Oh! Oh, well, he had it lit, which is better than I think uh, anybody here can say right now. Uh, all right, so he just, uh, he's just collecting some, uh, some RPMs there to raise his gear value all right there's some more rpm here we go more upper loops just nailing that he's been playing too much iron maiden and getting those uh those loop jackpots all right here's my ball three we will be back
So Jordan's got a got a wall to climb here. Are you talking about my wall or your wall? <laughs> Both walls. Yeah. I think Trump's still trying to build the wall. So. <laughs> we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. <laughs> I wish you would have built I this wall. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what Jordan does. Oh, Thorne's talking about building me in an encased uh, booth so I can, uh, when I stream here, it's quieter. That'd be pretty awesome. We'll see what happens, but. Yeah, because you can definitely hear the I'm not games. Gonna, I'm not going to hold him to that. No. <laughs> he builds you like a beautiful palace. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Jordan's currently in third, trying to chase Tim at 128 right now. He's got all of his locks ready. Oh, it's a little short. Oh, that's short, yep. Jordan uh, comes up short quite oh, often. Oh! Nope. No, not going to do it. What can you do? All Tom, right. you and I won two again, but you flipped it, so. We flipped it, yes. Good Sweet. job. Good job. Good job. All right, I get to put my initials in, Oh, uh, nice. So current standings, Tom Graff at 71, Ben Granger at 65, and Tim Enders at 57, with uh, Eric Strangeway, Eric Thorne, and Luke Nahorniak all tied for fourth. So we're getting, getting down to the nitty gritty and it's getting tight. I'm gonna go switch the stream here.
All right, we're gonna be bringing you some Earthshaker in just a second. So this is uh, pivotal, round 12. One more round to go after this. Let me just update the uh, match play here. Spindler is up. Um, there we go. All right. All right, I will be back. All right, Luke checking back into the booth here. Uh, playing a game of Earthshaker. He's already at 1.6 million. Good ball started here. Making some good saves here, Ryan is. Uh, there it is, there's the, oh, that was the upper loop. I thought that was the lock shot. Too quick, couldn't follow it. So it looks like he's shooting for that scoop, which then will feed that upper flipper, um, allowing him to shoot for that lock. No, oh, gets a tough bounce there and into the left out lane. Uh, Tom, our current leader, is up next. So I expect Tom to put up over 10 million here on this ball. Um, I know he really likes Earthshaker. So like I said, 10 million, that's that's the over-under. If anyone's placing bets, over-under at 10 mil. All right, the under would have won there. I gotta go play. Luke said he's gonna run it up 10 million, so let's see what he does. <laughs> nice shot. Quick multi-ball is lit.
Oh, we're, we're losing our score. Yeah. Any more lasts? Yeah. No, but I'm slowly clawing up to my kid. <laughs> but I'd, getting a three doesn't really help much, you know. There's a one. Yeah. Checking back into the booth here. Um, so we are currently in the middle of a game on Earthshaker. Um, currently leading with uh, five, five million. Ryan is uh, in second with 2.6. Tom is in third, but uh, I think just about to get past here. The Earthshaker camera score uh, camera is a little bit off, but uh, we'll see if we can get Tom to adjust that here so that we can get some updates 
it's obviously still working. It's just aimed in a kind of interesting little direction. Nice shots there, getting that lock lit. Uh, this is like a uh, kind of like whirlwind. You got the targets completing all the targets, lights the lock, shooting the green shots, awards the lock. So too much trust, 12 million. Uh, do not know what you're referring to there. Too much trust. I'm assuming you're thinking uh, that. Oh, you're asking because the camera is obviously off. I ended at 5.7 million scribble. And yes, too much trust to that center post. Uh, obviously did not bounce back up. It was a little off center and uh, ricochet, ricochet, and out. That was pretty sweet. We're gonna save a replay there. That was uh, that was like a batted downward center center post usage. Letting the flipper go, smacking that ball back towards the drain, but off the center post and back up. Yep, nice dribble there, like Scribble said. Uh, yeah, that is exactly uh, a perfect way to describe that. Nice shot there for the jackpot. Wish we could see the score here. And he's still got all three balls going. This game is playing pretty friendly. Not a lot of uh, I don't know if there is a tilt or not in the game, but I have not seen it tilt, so. It's a good play uh, on the fly play here. It is the way I like to play games. Uh, trapping up just slows the ball down. When, you, when you're feeling it, I like to play on the fly. If you're missing shots, can't hit anything, trap up, trap up, and uh, and uh, recover, and then uh, make your next shot. That's kind of the strategy I like to employ. And uh, we're back in single ball play. You see there, flashing blue target on the left side. That is a uh, first step to get back into the multi ball. Let me, uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab Tom and see if we can get that camera adjusted here before he plays the next ball. Alrighty, we got the camera back here, and as you can see, it's a pretty high-scoring game already. 4.4 million for Eric, 5.8 for myself, and uh, Ryan, not too shabby of a ball one, and 2.6 is currently in third. So I played a few games with Ryan tonight. Every game we played, huge scores uh, out of all four players. So I believe it was on Shadow. He ended up taking the fourth with a 283 million on Shadow, which if you, if you know Shadow, Shadow's a... Uh, that's a pretty solid score on a shadow. So two balls locked here. We're going to get into a multi-ball now. Um, I think it kicks that one out right at the start here. And there you go, three ball, multi-ball. And that's the end of the multi-ball. Head for the shelter. This is the relock. He did not get a jackpot, so I believe shelter timer. If you get the relock, you get back into the multi ball. I missed mine as well. I never got back into the multi ball. At least I think that's what it does. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know this game as good as I should. Getting the loops, though. That's uh, And ricochets it into the shelter. And I think that's going to be a multi ball restart here. There's the plunge, and uh, yep, there you go. Back into the multi-ball, two-ball multi-ball here. As uh, it was the restart, so you do not get all three back, but you do get two. Uh, another chance at the jackpot. And what he's going to want to do here, I believe, is shoot that ramp. And I think that lights it, and now it's lit for the, uh, like, that little, Warp ramp, it's an opposite warp ramp of what uh, you'd normally expect, but uh, left to right, and he's going to drain out. So that's going to be the end of Ryan's ball. Two, three, seven is uh, what he ends at there. 
3-8 with bonus. And uh, Tom looking to redeem himself here after a uh, not excellent ball one. While he's adjusting the camera, let's take a look at that uh, replay from Eric Strangeway. And gets into that multi-ball and immediately starts out with an interesting little double dribble off the center post. And uh, back to play here. Tom hasn't started yet. 147 is what he's starting. And uh, there we go. I, there's not really too many different strategies in this game that I know of. Basically, it's shoot for multi-ball, get the locks lit, uh, get everything rolling. He's got the locks lit. Uh, scoop on the right-hand side or uh, warp ramp on the right-hand side as well from that upper flipper are the two shots he's focusing on here. Nails the scoop. Ball one locked. Yeah, here you don't really want to plunge all the way around just due to the fact that that feeds the left flipper lower. If you uh, plunge it halfway around, it goes into the pops and has a chance of feeding the upper flipper. Unfortunately, it did not do that there. He might have been just looking at what's available here for, uh, well, take it back. He, you wanted to plunge it up there, get a chance at an upper flipper shot, seeing how there is the uh, loop available. I think that loop actually spots one as well, so that's tricky, and that's going to be out. That left out lane really gobbles up the ball. Um, Anytime it's bouncing around in there, you, you want to just nudge it, get it all the way out of that left out lane. I got to go play. So Luke just tearing it up. Unfortunately, there isn't much of a tilt bob on this game, so the uh, the uh, rig is being pushed very violently. It's also causing the camera to get loose. So I apologize about that, but I'll have to fix it.
All right, uh, Luke stepping back into the booth here. We're still in a game on Earthshaker. This is ball three. Yeah, do you know this game at all, Ben? Um, kind of. It'd be nice to give the uh, viewers a little bit of rules. I'm trying to figure it out as well. Yeah, there's areas, you know, it's like one, two, three or something. And then okay. You, so you and shoot the areas and then uh, follow the areas up with what? The lock? Yeah. Okay. That sounds right. You do a lock and then you get another ball. And then you, you have two balls. Okay. That's good. And then uh, I think there's a shot for a million. If you hit that shot for a million. That's good point. Then you get into three. Wait, three ball multi-ball here. Did you get 19 million? Yeah. Well, why don't you tell me how to play it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was ball two. That was ball two? Yeah. There's still a ball remaining here, so anything could happen. Yeah, you you probably might get third with 19 million. So that's the way it's been going today. Second or third. I'm hoping. Oh, ooh, it looks rough. like I'm going to hold out for a point, though, at least. So yep. You're safe in third. I'll give you that. So Tom is in an interesting spot here because... So I won the la my game, which which would put us at a tie if he takes last. Really? So you, you're at 72 points right now, Ben. Correct. Okay. So that's, uh, I guess, the winner of this game, 55-55-53. So if uh, either I or Eric win, we would actually be at 62. So it would be 62-72. So we would be un unreachable. But uh, Ben, who is currently in second or was in second before this game, is uh, definitely putting some pressure here on Tom, and they will be playing each other in the last group. Uh, top four in the final round will be playing against each other, so that could uh, pose for a very interesting uh, final game with the tide going into the finals. Tom looks pretty relaxed here. I mean, he's uh, he's not he's not uh, he's not worried about this. I think he's, he's got this. Look at he's really yeah. There you go. That's exactly what you want to do with that center post. Uh, if the ball's screaming down the center, just let it bounce back in. It's, it's there to help. So, Lock uh, two enabled. Nice save there. He's he's making some good saves here. So look to uh, shoot that scoop and uh, hit that lock shot. That's that's what he's looking for here. Getting the, oh, getting the slap nice, saves down. Nice dig. There it is. Oh, Ooh. just a little early on that shot. Oh, my gosh. That was beautiful. Show maneuver, very composed play here out of Tom. He's been playing really well all day. He's been crushing the field. There it is. So maybe just center ramp all day. I don't even know if that's valuable, oh, but I like to do it. That's two. All right, there you go. No. This is multi ball. You only need two balls locked to get multi ball. It However, just, it's going to be the. Uh, I believe he's going to be shooting for a million here, off the uh, right ramp to start the regular multi ball, of which he can get the jackpot. Nope, it is the three ball. Straight into the three ball. So center ramp lights the jackpot. And uh, there it is. Oh, ball's got in the way there. Otherwise, I think he would have hit that shot. Takes another shot at, but he's just getting uh, too many, too many balls on that upper flipper and uh, unable to connect oh. with the shot. But it is lit here. What is the jackpot worth? I haven't seen it yet. Okay, down to two ball. Oh, he's in the single ball play. Hey, but there is a restart. Oh, oh no. and that bounce out just unable to handle it, and uh, that's going to be the end of the game. He is. Guaranteed last place. So that's going to tie up Ben and Tom for the final round. So I got to go play here and try to get a little bit of a lead here between me and Eric. Yeah. I'll be right I, back. I'm pretty sure Eric's going to pass Luke on this. This is how this is going to go. I mean, plunge drain, quick drain, strange way for 17 mil, game over. No, these are, these are absolutely monster scores. I, I'm... Uh, I'm kind of shocked. Kind of glad I'm not in this group. <clears throat> oh, see, well, it's the first half. Strange way for 17. Here we go. I agree. Luke really should have played better. I mean, that's.
Yeah, scribble. Sorry, I, I did my best there. It looks like that's the end of the game, though. So I did manage to hold out for the win. I, unbelievable, unbelievable. I gotta go back. So Luke has left the booth again. He's in a pretty big hurry to pop his initials in. That's probably gonna make the high scoreboard here. Title Town is a big whiteboard with all the high scores on it. As you can wag your proverbial junk for the uh, for the rest of the players. What a show off. Movers and shakers, wow, by, by 8 million. Take first by 8 million. Changing game, yep. Changing game, so as you heard, it's be me and Tom, Ben Granger in the booth here. Just taking a quick break. Let me see how, uh, what we get for this final draw. Pretty excited, things were looking Pretty grim earlier and uh, tit for tat with Tom here all day. I have I have yet to play in his group though, which is some I'm not really sure how that's possible. But with the tiered Swiss system, he kind of uh, you know as the rounds progress, it funnels funnels you down with the with the same people have the same record, or same or similar. So last round will it'll be the top four. guys so those are the current standings as you can see there Ben Granger and Tom what <laughs> Ben Granger and Tom Graff are going to be playing in the final match for uh, the win here everybody else playing for third I'm currently in third uh, let's take a look matches here that's right we're locked in so Luke Eric Ben and Tom on last action hero that is oh a game we're gonna go play no one knows how to play it, so we're probably just going to plunge drain all of them and uh, see who happens to get the most points. I think at least one player knows <laughs> how to play it, and that would be Eric. Ben beat me at uh, Pinburg, so I'm really mad at him. So, so this, is, this is, Tom's going to exact his revenge in a moment here. All right, so let's take a look uh, at the uh, instant replay here. It was a dribble. Ooh. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Who did that? All right, we're back. Last Is action that hero. That was Eric. <laughs> Is that Eric? Yeah. All right, Scribble, wishing good luck to Ben. Thank you, Scribble, for wishing good luck to the Minnesota guys. We appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate no, he said Ben. I'm going to wish you good luck, Tom. Thank you. I'm not wishing I, I love playing with you, Tom. And I like, you know, it's it's nice to be in a situation where it's just going to be, you know, we're one and two for sure. Um, locked yeah. in. But you got to be, you got to feel pretty good about that. Seventy-one yeah. players here. You're locked into one and two after uh, after twelve grueling rounds. Seventy-one players. That's amazing. One ish. Seventy-one ish. <laughs> yeah. Looks like, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> so during multi ball, the crane. <laughs> Lights the jackpot. All right, that's good to know. I'm gonna go play. <laughs> he says that now, but he'll yeah, I think he'll blow it up. Right, which is which is fine. I just want to finish ahead of you, sir. That's all that matters now. Okay. And and I as well. I want to finish ahead of myself too. I've been in the lead for so long, though. Andy Rosa says he'll play me in pinball and have a scratch battle against me. Ooh. That's, that's a tall order. Huh? That, that'd be, I'd stream that. Yeah, we've, we've talked about doing that at pin, something like that at Pinburg, doing a DJ battle thing. Okay. It'd be kind of fun. That'd be fun. We'll talk to the Papa guys about maybe hosting a little 
thing, you know. They're always looking for stuff. <laughs> it would be rude to take the. <laughs> nah, I would. I wouldn't. I. I've already had a state championship taken away from me this month, so. Uh, or last month, but uh, yeah, no hard feelings. It's just pinball. Did Luke already play? Real Sergeant Muffin. <laughs> Thanks for following. No, he went to go get the sheet. I don't think he ever got the sheet. <laughs> so, Tom, how do you play this game? Uh, you shoot shots. Okay. Flash, and, flashing shots, unlit shots. Uh, you, you shoot the ramp. Okay. You shoot the crane. You shoot the scoop. And that's about all I know. You start multi-ball. Double danger. Oh, see, he's earth, used to Earthshaker with the no tilt. Yeah. So Eric Thorne up. <laughs> I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Luke announce. He's better than me anyways. First of all, there's flipper plugs on. Flipper what? Yeah. I wasn't really trying to start my game. And uh, I flipped the flippers a few times. And see you, Tom, kicking you out of the booth. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, Tom's going to the bathroom. We wish him luck. Meanwhile, Eric is up here. And Eric, I'm going to watch play a little bit more because, uh, you know, owning the title and all. Oh, oh. So oh, that that's. Was no, that's not what you want to do. Yeah. I thought he was demonstrating yeah. us a, an interesting uh, strategy, okay. but it turns out that, that was just a drain. Gotta ben, go. you're Gotta up. Gotta go. Gotta go. I'll talk in both the mics here, um, just to keep things so that we still have two yeah, commentators. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We wish Ben good luck here from the uh, Minnesota Pinball Channel, and uh, he's representing us here. Uh, myself and Ben. Currently the only two players here from Minnesota today. And uh, we'll see what we can do. So Ben's going to look to use the actual plunger to plunge this ball uh, instead of flipping like I did. It's not consistent, so timing it is like, meh. It might hit it or it might not. Let's see, there you go. That one hit the bottom one. Smart missile deactivated. Same plunge that I had. And you can't control it at all. It's an auto plunger. So now two of those a is second. a super. Did he get a ball save? Yes, when it plunges out the out lane, you get a ball save. <laughs> I got that, and somehow he has more points than me, and that was the first shot he took. No, no, we don't want the Minnesota guys to win. Damn Minnesota guys. Go MN, Chicken <laughs> Rob, thank you. I mean, we're, we're it is just, a Wisconsin tournament, so we're just, Minnesota people should win it. I mean, that's... We're kidding, not kidding. Kidding, not kidding. So, Tom, As uh, I'm patting Luke can on you the explain to me some uh, strategy behind this? I think you played it earlier. and uh, I don't know nothing. Okay, okay. Just trying to get the stream some information <laughs> here on how to play. I got I to gotta beat Ben. All right, good luck. Just kidding. We aren't actually wishing him good luck. All right, he heard that. That was, that was why I said it. I'm just kidding. We wish good luck to everybody here. Um, ben is currently in the lead with that Monster Ball 1, 15 million. And... Uh, Tom's up next, so I'm pretty sure that was a situation where I tried to play one of the worst modes in the game. Uh, some weird kickback shot on the right, and it was lit, the only thing lit. So you didn't yep. even hit the kicks back, so don't blame the kickback. You hit the post straight out lane. I did get the multi ball advance. Okay, okay. So there is a multi ball in this game. Okay, so he's in the same mode. What's he gonna do? No. Yeah, he is. Blow same. out. So all do? targets equal 250k. Something about value and something about something else. So and, oh, nice little nudge there to keep that one in the in lane. That was uh, that was a good play there. And nice little wiggle. Ah, nice little wiggle again. Oh, he didn't even have to give it a wiggle that time. Which is good because he only has zero more wiggles to give before it tilts. Uh, 12 million there for dynamite feature. So he pulls into the lead here. Early lead taken by Tom uh, in this race for first place. And right into another mode. Nice shot. R ramp relights the mode. I believe it's actually like Jurassic Park. So the in lanes relight the mode. The right permanently, the left, I think, just flashing. 
And uh, this mode happens to be a multi-ball. Add a ball. Shoot captive balls for add a ball. That is what's currently flashing. Uh, that's the white shots on either side, the big white squares. There's one. And bounce over, not, not able to hit the add a ball. Okay, so it actually gives you an add a ball. Every time you shoot a captain ball, he's gotten two add balls now, this ball. Still in multi-ball. Add balls are available for eight more seconds by the looks of it. Oh, just misses it there. Fifty-one million, and that's gonna be the end of the multi-ball. And that's gonna be the end of the ball. But good start there out of time. He's definitely off to a lead. Fifty-three million. And uh, I gotta go figure out how to play. All right, sit. Have a seat, Tom. Let's talk about what you did. What's that? Have a seat. Let's talk about what you did. So, <laughs> so yes. Let's talk strategy here. Um, like Notice I said, it? do you want to shoot the ramp, shoot the crane, and shoot the scoop? That's it. Yeah, for the most part. Look up at the DMD. Look up. Spit. Yeah. Watch the graphics. Watch the graphics. Nice color DMD. Don't flip. This Oof. is not a flipping game. You want to you want to nudge it. You want to nudge really hard. I saw you do a couple good hard nudges there. <laughs> I did. That was uh, it was that it was, was definitely needed too. That was good. I think Luke might have saved a uh, <clears throat> instant replay of that. Uh-oh. One of those. Oh, that's a danger. That's too dangerous for Luke. That, was it too dangerous? I think so. He got one earlier. So cat millions. Cat so, millions. So, so do you switch? How do you sw does it switch the modes? Do you do? I'm sure it does. I'm not exactly sure how you switch them. Okay. Uh, my guess might be putting it in the pops. Yeah, it seems or like. Or the slingshots. Usually, it's one of those. See, it does seem like that era where it's probably. Pop bumper switches, you know, probably that's, not very controllable. That's my guess, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's, let's see what happens let's, here. Let's talk smart missile, Tom. When, you <laughs> <laughs> when should you use, when the, smart you use the smart I'm missile? not going to tell you that. Okay, well, uh, tell me after. Uh, tell I me will. after. Okay. Look like he uh, is close to starting his multi ball. Oh. Now, interestingly, they had this in the B bank at Pinburn. So I, I did play it there. Um, with about as much not knowing what I'm doing this. <laughs> but I think everyone managed to get, you know, in the 150 plus range. Yeah. Which seems like probably an average score 150 to 200. All right, Eric. This is, this is probably the guy to watch. He's, uh. Whew. Oh, don't move. Yeah, he, uh, this is his game, obviously. Yeah, nice little mode start there. Yep. Cat millions. Shoot the cat. Time's a ticking. Oh, he shot that at the right time. All right, so he's out of his mode. He's got something lit. Oh. All right. Good luck, Ben. He knows what he's doing. The one in B finals at Pittsburgh was so floaty. Yes, it was. I didn't play it this last year, but I played it maybe two or three years ago at Pittsburgh. It was floaty. Maybe it was four years ago at Pittsburgh. Anyways. Talking about the past here. Talking about the past. This is the present. I don't even know what you're talking about, but I it sounded need, like the past. I don't so either. Pittsburgh. Let's put it behind Pinburg. us. Floaty, floaty game. Cat Millions. This is my favorite mode in the game for sure. 
um, that I've played so far. Well, it's also the only mode I've played so far. So Ben saw Ben saw Eric do it. I don't think you hit the target. No, I missed it every time. I kept yeah. doing that, yeah. which is a multi-ball advance. So, but uh, right, some, some uh, the right in lane advance is multi-ball, or am I completely crazy? No, I think you're crazy. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> I could be crazy. I mean, I could be wrong. Got one shot to the ramp. He's got two more to go. He's got a danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, danger. All right, so we've got two there. That's all right. Ben looks worried. I don't know why. He is. Maybe because he has a danger, but that's when he plays better. I yeah. I was watching him on Funhouse. He had a double danger and just lit it up last round, so. Oh. Ooh. Slingshots are Smart nasty. Missile got deactivated, too, so. <laughs> All right. See you, Tom. All right. So you can see here we got uh, – Tom Graff stepping back up. And uh, he's looking to put some hurt on us here, us uh, little folk. 72 points for him and Ben. I'm currently about tied, but Tom has yet to play his ball too. Ooh, tough one right there. Gonna give it back to him. Don't move the exact same screen off the Jurassic Park. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just sat down. I have no clue what he said. Something about Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, how are things going here? It looks like Tom is in the lead here. Uh, he's got he a is. dynamite feature lit. Currently and still playing his, uh, his ball, too, as well. So looking to build a lead. Yeah, um, Cat Millions is a terrible mode because uh, there's one target to hit, and it's not safe. He got it, though. Look at it. that. Eight million. <laughs> Boom. Oh, look at this. Four he's million. Actually, is he 16 million. Yeah, he's going for it. Man, I, I would just hit that ramp. Boom, and, oh, nailed it again. Wow. Sorry. 22 million. You're peaking here. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I would just go for that ramp and uh, light my next mode. Or or not. Cat millions, I mean. Uh, oh, and that's going to be it. it. It's because of cat millions. That's why that happened. Yeah, uh, 121 million, though, is what he ends his ball at. I got to go play here and try right. to figure out how to play. I think I'm just going to smart missile my way into the victory. Yeah. Hey, you did that. My favorite mode. So far. That was my favorite mode now, too. <laughs> <laughs> Luke said, hey, you did my favorite mode. I said, yeah, that's my favorite mode now, too. The cat millions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it worked out for you, but, I mean, like, I, I was surprised that you weren't going for the ramp just to relight your next dynamite mode. Yeah, uh, I, I, was, I was focused on that target, I have to say. I was just trying to get, get ahead of the game here. All right, so it looks like he uh, used a smart missile right yes, away and uh, lit his lit his uh, multi ball, uh, which should be uh, you know a cool 60, 70 million depending on uh, what his values are at when he hits, and also I, assuming I that he hits both. From what I remember from the last game, I think the jackpot is only like fifteen million. So, uh, so usually it's pretty easy to build up the uh, jackpot value. Uh, so hopefully you're getting about uh, 20 mil from your first, and then uh, and then 40 from your second. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it starts at it starts at. So uh, I know 15. it's I know it's ramp and then crane, right? Correct. Yeah. Yep. So he's collecting here at just over 15 mil, uh, and then if he can hit his crane, then that'll be another 30. Uh, so there it is. There's a double jackpot. Uh, so I did notice when you were playing with Ryan earlier. Yes. That uh, that he uh, did not use a smart missile until he was in multi ball. He had hit both his jackpot and double jackpot, and then lit uh, lit jackpots again using his smart missile. Oh, okay. So I don't know how to light them again uh, after uh, after you've collected them. Sure. Uh, it could be the uh, crane targets on the left, the, uh, the those drop targets. Okay. Uh, but we'll see. So he's got two shields left. Uh, maybe he goes for those. 
Uh, so uh, for those watching, uh, we're a couple of people who know relatively little about this game. We know enough to exist, but that's about it. Yeah. So uh, the, the two that he has left are the two most difficult. That right scoop is very difficult, uh, but he just rebounded into it. And then uh, the other one is that, that tiny lane uh, that's flashing in the, the upper right. Uh, so he'll see if he can do a major Elwin. There we go. Yep. All right. The major, oh. the major Elwin. All right. Come on. The badges oh, right are there. worth five million. I. Uh, I'm wondering if the badges relight the jackpots though as well. They probably do. Because I mean that's all that it's telling him to do. Uh, so, oh look at that. All right. So here's the crane jackpot for 30 mil if he can get in the crane in time. Did he do it? Uh, no, it's it's still available to him. Oh, oh. no. Uh, still. Oh. All right. 136. Still no, a, that's respectable. Still a very good multi ball. Yes, exactly. All right. Okay. I have to go play my last ball here. Good luck, Jordan. Describe the badges. Badges. Oh, the badges. The badges are shots uh, around the play field. There's four bad shots. Uh, once you hit the jackpot shots, you have to, they're worth five million. You have to hit them, uh, hit all four. And then uh, that relights the jackpot at the crane from what we saw, so. And Jordan is back. South Park? Yeah, South Park. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad that I'm done with it. Uh, had a decent game on it, uh, about 150 mil. I surprised myself. I actually completed uh, Chef. Uh, actually got the stand shot and everything. So was, <laughs> nice. I think the first time I've ever actually done that because I never I go. I just for gave stand. you sweet love and ten minutes ago, woman. <laughs> All right, he's uh, he's got uh, just he's hero, he's to, go needs hero to, to go to uh, go to light his multi ball again. Come back. Come back later. <laughs> Eric Thorne with a big smile on his face. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, a frustrated smile. A frustrated uh, smile. Yeah, he, he came up and he shook his head and pointed at the screen. And <laughs> yeah, he, he's not happy about what's going on here, but uh, uh, he knows he knows Luke's uh, no slouch. Luke's not fooling around no. anymore. Oh, and there it goes. Oh. No, that was a great uh, ball, though. I'll give Luke yes, an applause nicely there. Done, nicely done to Luke there. $207 million. Uh, the the uh, GC on this right now is at 270 some. You just said that earlier today. Uh, no, no, I had 273 Yeah. That was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, you set the, the grand champ score on here uh, with it? that. Yeah. Okay. So, what was I that? Think I did. <laughs> Throw this game out, says Nornyak. Well, we can call major malfunction if you want to. <laughs> uh, was it the right flipper? Was it the right flipper? Yeah, that happened to me earlier. Yeah, uh, we. Yeah, small small issue with the flipper sticking up here uh, on the right. Uh, it's incidental, like it's very very small. And All right, so. Uh, thanks everybody for the bits as well. Yes, appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the stream here. And uh, Erickson multi-ball, he's got to hit the ramp. He's building up the jackpot value. Oh, no. All right, so he can restart since he did not hit either jackpot. So uh, let's see if he can get in there. Does the value you built up continue? We'll see. That we will see. Question of the day. I'm wondering if it's a nerf. No, oh, it goes it down, down to, to 10. 10. Wow. Ooh. Interesting. That's a kick in the. Well. You know what. <laughs> oh, and he missed the ramp. Yeah, it's a kick in the out lane. It's a kick <laughs> in the out lane. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so uh, it's no like jackpot selected. It's like in the slam selected. tilt. Ah, not quite. <laughs> you're, uh, well, I you're one for hyperbole, are you not? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, got his next feature. 
find Benedict. So, so hit the scoops. Hit the three scoops. There's three green shots there. Uh, Looks like it's. All right. Oh, there's one. That was. No, gotta, he's not here. It's not there. I wonder if it's uh, you got to hit all the damn scoops in tournament mode or something. Yeah, if it's only on the third, I don't know. Once again, we don't know the the game all that well. But we don't know, but the question is, is it really worth going for? Probably not. Well, he still got it. Uh, he he got uh, one of the shots, and that was worth something at least. So uh, yeah, he's grinding at this point. 95 million. Uh, he's already used his multi-ball. He's got his next feature lit and uh, tries to hit it on the fly, but doesn't quite get there. All right. Oh wow. Okay. So there's a crane shot. Feed back down to the right flipper. There's a late shot Whoa. there. Uh, yeah. So he uh, get that kick back. It's like uh, Raptor in Jurassic Park. You get I, that. I, I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking Rampage and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, uh, okay. I don't think you get a ball save for that, do you? No, you do not. Yeah, but on this you do. That's yeah, what I yeah, yeah. And yeah, with uh, Raptor, that's the same. Oh, yep. there it goes. Boy, we've seen a lot of left trains on this game. Yeah, that left out lane is very hungry. So I did not realize that. So you and Ben are uh, tied for first now? We are tied for first. Ooh, I took a this. one and he took a seven last round. And okay. so it's coming down to this. Oof. And, uh, you know, it's Ben Granger. I'm, I'm a little worried. Smart missile just deactivated. Uh, yeah, so that, that happens. I think he still gets even it. Even in a grace period I save. I think he just used it. Yep. So yep. Gets 25, 25 mil. mil and he's and got to go for multi-ball here. Yep. Yeah, yes, he, nice he's shot. not. Uh, he doesn't look nervous. Yeah. It's Ben freaking Granger. He may be sweating, but that beanie is just soaking it all up. So. <laughs> uh, uh, I've played against Ben a lot. I, such a good player. Uh, That's all right. Uh, he's got the ball save. Yeah, right? he's got ball save there. So he's down to two. He's got a nice trap, and there nice. is his first. And I don't know why he flipped on that, that left flipper there. Uh, I would have just kept it since the jackpot know. feeds to the, uh, to the right flipper. And then just waited, so he's got three seconds. So, oh. nope. All right, 112. So he's he's definitely uh, made up the gap there. Uh, now I guess he's just gonna go for uh, for some modes. So his dynamite feature is lit. There it is. And uh, big, big mistake. mistake. Big mistake starting that mode. So no, uh, this know. one, yeah, you shoot, shoot the drop targets, the eyeball, and then uh, I think it's one of the scoops, if I'm not mistaken. There's five mil for that. Oh, oh nice. Goodness. Yeah, if I was him, uh, okay, so there's another uh, 10 mil. Okay. All right, and nice look shot. at that. Beautifully done. Just that uh, that right in lane there. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, Okay. All right. So now he lit his dynamite feature again. He's with just going to go ramp. for the wizard mode. Yeah. You know, you know, no big deal. Nice little uh, dead pass there. The nudge. Ben is great at nudging. Uh, okay. Get it under control. I find uh, the mode start shot easier from the left flipper like that. Yeah. So. All right. So here is the crane or super crane. So. I believe this is lit for 30 million if you hit the, the crane. Uh, oh, 5 million the first time. I apologize. But uh, it is a, it is a two-ball mode, so. I'll be uh, back. They're three-ball mode. All right. Uh, all right, so there's one shot for 5 million. And I believe that that is uh, 5 million plus. So every time that he hits it, it will be worth another 5 million on top of uh, what his last shot was. Ooh, look at this. He's, he's making waves. Uh, he's going to gonna make Tom work for it. All right, there's another crane shot. Uh, but he needs to drop all of the uh, drop targets there on the left in order to uh, relight that crane. But, uh, yeah, man, he's, he's got all the balls. Yeah. 
Yeah, scribble. That that nudge was was very very nice. Uh, just a testament to uh, Ben's ability to absolutely tear into any game that he's put in front of. So, oh, oh that double, that double drain there. All right, uh, so he's probably going for. Uh, uh, looks like he he might have been going for the. Uh, uh, he might have been going for the crane there to uh, try and get a grace period of that that double, but uh, now it's going to be left ramp. Oh no, he is going for crane again, but uh, left ramp is probably where it's at there. Light the dynamite feature, let that roll over. Oh, okay, no, he's going for the crane again. <laughs> at least it's control from the crane, which is nice. But uh, oh. Okay, here's a kick out. All right. Okay, some nice control on the right. And there it is. There's the next feature. He's flying through these. He is making plenty of progress. So he's completed last. Uh, that is one third of the way to his multi ball. Crane run away. Okay, there we go. All right, so he's going to. Uh, yep. Post pass and shot to the crane. Missed the shot to the crane. Oof. This is uh, this is entertaining though. Uh, he's he's making some work or uh, or making some making some good shots here. 218. Uh, he's definitely passed up Luke, uh, which is no small feat. So he's got his first ball locked for multi ball. All right. So he's gonna hit that left ramp again. Uh, he's got a ball save going here. Apparently, it gives it to him for a little bit after locking the ball. Uh, so it looks like he only has, what, three more modes to go to get to that wizard mode. Uh, so this could be very interesting if he, uh, if he pulls that off. Oh, and that is the curse of the commentator. All right. Uh, so very, very nicely done there by Ben. Very nicely done. Tom has some work to do to uh, catch up to Ben. Uh, the skill shot is finicky because uh, even if you're perfect with your timing, uh, where the ball wants to shoot is uh, completely up to the game. It uh, will shoot any one of those top three drop targets. So it looks like it went towards the, uh oh, he uses the smart missile. So he's got a uh, uh, multi-ball to use, I believe. Yes. So if he can get some control, get to that multi-ball, that will close the gap quite quickly. There it is, beautifully done. All right, multi-ball is started for Tom Graff. All right, so uh, Jackpot, once again, starting at 15 million. Uh, all of his uh, major shots there will increase that jackpot and uh, even slings. Absolutely everything will uh, increase that jackpot. Uh, so uh, he wants to hit those jackpots right away because if he does not, uh, he can restart his multi-ball, but uh, it will be at a severely reduced jackpot value. Oh, wow. All right, so that ramp reject was not friendly to him. Uh, so he can start his multi-ball again. It will be at only a 10 million jackpot value. Oh, that is it. That is it. So Tom, yeah, so Tom ends in third place there bringing him to 75 points for the day, which is excellent score. Ben Granger, on the other hand, 79 points. 79 points, that is no joke. That is very, very good. Way to go to all of our contestants. Very nicely done. BFG, Ben F. Granger. We can only guess what the F stands for. Right. Uh, so with that, Ben Granger is our champion for our first tournament of the day. Keep in mind, we have been streaming since 9.30 this morning. Uh, so that is, uh, what, six and a half hours that we've been streaming so far. Yes. And we still have another tournament to go. We have a lot of pinball today. <laughs> We're going to switch this to the winter. Okay.